Today's episode of the Nate Land Podcast is brought to you by HelloFresh, Helix, and Rocket Money. Uh, hello, folks, and hey, Bear. Welcome to the Nate Land Podcast. I'm Nate Bergetzi. Brian Bates, Aaron Weber, Dusty Slay. All right. Uh, and, uh, and a new baby. New baby. Yeah, I had vertigo last week, but I'm back. I'm still spinning a bit, but I'm here. I feel good. I felt like I woke up on Sunday and I was like, maybe the earth is spinning. And, yeah. <laughs> and I could, That's what it took. I could feel it. I was like, the government is our friend. Yeah. Trust the doctors. And I, I was like. <laughs> That's how we feel all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, wow, science is real. And uh, it felt good. Did. Uh... Yeah, we did not say that you had vertigo. Nah. I mean, you know, oh, okay. we don't ever know to put out. Oh, okay. your, I don't know what you're, you know, what you want the government to know about. Yeah, yeah. know about. And we didn't know if you, you know, did they need to know you were weak at the moment? Well, I think I was maybe targeted with five G. I mean, who That's knows? That's true. You know what I mean? That's true. <laughs> Mike, Mike James filled in with a broken toe. Oh, yeah. Wow, you know, I have a hurt toe as well. Oh, well, wow! It's a chair. So uh, Mike may be getting vertigo soon. <laughs> Did uh is vertigo you just feel like you can't stand? Yeah, it's like it's like when you l- look at something, it's like it moves and then adjusts and then moves and then adjusts yeah. and then and you just can't. I got so dizzy, I threw up. Yeah. Uh, I Sunday I could not even get up for most of the day. And do you like? Uh, can you watch TV or anything, or you got to just like no, close you your just eyes? want your eyes to be closed. Yeah. And we did a. There's a maneuver that you could do. Now I went to the chiropractor today. Yeah. And he's hooking it up. I would be <laughs> never in a million years would think that's where you would go for vertigo. Yeah. Is a chiropractor <laughs> like that? Well, I but, mean that's unreal. They're uh-huh. the guys. That's the vertigo guys. Is I the actually didn't know that because conspiracy theorists don't go to doctors. Chiropractors they hook you up that's with everything. Guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chiropractor. Oh, so chiropractors is they're like a they're like a sage. For is us. it like you go to just a chiropractor, or like does the world? No, like if you got vertigo, go to a chiropractor. Well, some people will go to a doctor and get medicine yeah. and, and suffer with vertigo their whole life. Uh, yeah. Other people go to the chiropractor and he adjusts the head and Yeah. It the the deeper you get into vertigo, the crazier it sounds. Yeah. But apparently there's crystals in the ear canal in that that can get dislodged mm. and they and it it throws off your equilibrium. Mm. So there's a maneuver you can do that's supposed to get slowly work those back into place. Wow. Uh, Jason Day had it uh, as the golfer. And oh, yeah. uh, he had to pull out of events in, uh, in a major championship. And it was it was a crazy thing because it seems it's like when you hear it, you're like, what? You were dizzy? Yeah, you were yeah, dizzy. Yeah. You lose <laughs> it. Yeah, like grow it's up. just – and but it's he couldn't he was on the golf course you have to sit down and he just it he shut tried to play do it yeah yeah it's crazy I mean that's like turf toe uh, yeah. not it's not like turf but it's kind of like you hear athletes get turf toe and they can't play and you're like your toe hurts <laughs> yeah. and then you're like it's probably the worst thing you uh-huh. could like you can't move or like a quarterback will be out because they like their pinky fingers broken and yeah you're like, Ugh, you're grow like up. wait grow, to be <laughs> yeah, a yeah. man you can't and then you're like well that's the main yeah they that's can't the grip f- a football yeah well didn't you injure your toe in the bathroom well i was moving a recliner oh, tmz over here yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tell it tell well, what well, really I was, happened i was moving a recliner and yeah. then i into dr- the bathroom and i dr- drug the part over my toe and it like sliced my toenail was God bleeding Lee, and then i like was got it healed up right and i was using the bathroom and i was you know on my phone and as i got up i set the phone on the toilet paper dispenser and it started to fall in the toilet and i swatted it midair so it didn't go in the toilet but it landed straight on the toe it wasn't. It's not the yeah. big toe. It's a random little toe in there. Show the video, Aaron. right? Yeah. <laughs> right down on it, bleeding again. Uh, uh, it was a real mess. And then I got vertigo. And there's nothing like a little vertigo to take your mind yeah. off your toe. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Did you save the the phone? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's nice and dry. Yeah. The oh, phone's worth, dry. It. worth it. Yeah. It was oh. worth it. I just got a new phone. <laughs> At least you. Uh... Brought a baby into this world. Uh, well, yeah. that's the thing. Into right? this case, like the baby just doesn't know. <clears throat> had, its dad was a mess. Yeah, the yeah. week it was born. I had vertigo all day. On Monday, I was still shaky. Yeah. Later that day, my wife goes into labor. Mm. So I drive my wife to the hospital. 
uh, post, circles. Post vertigo. Yeah. But he uh, had a very Seinfeld ish day, I would say. Yeah. And that you made a couple of pit stops. And well, after you dropped her off, you went out for snacks. Yeah. My wife was just laying there. There's nothing <laughs> yeah. I can do for her. So yeah. I was like, I, I got to go get some stuff out of the car. And then I could see Kroger in the distance. So I thought, well, I'll go pick up some snacks here. Yeah. I'm going to be here a while. Yeah. They'll feed her, not me. So I went and got some, you know, a bag of popcorn. And uh, it was funny that it ended up being popcorn. Because I, I, I told my wife, I go, you mind if I munch on some popcorn over here? She goes, this is just a show for you. Huh? Yeah. You're just going to sit in the corner and watch yeah. and eat your yeah. popcorn. Nachos. I'm trying to make jokes with the nurse. I probably got popcorn in my beard. <laughs> The nurse was not happy. Can get a little more Diet Coke? Yeah. Just yeah. start shaking the cup a little bit. Hannah said at one time during her labor pain, she's in so much pain, and Dusty goes, huh, the Wichita Funny Bone closed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's like, could you focus? Well, that was sad news. That is a bummer. Wichita Looney Bin closed. Oh, Looney yeah. Bin, excuse me. Yeah. yeah. Looney Bins are going away. Yeah, yeah. we're only down to two now. Oh, wow. Sorry, every time you bring a kid into this world, a loony bin goes. goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's specifically Dusty's kids. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, congratulations, yeah, dude. Thank you. Did you say the name of the baby? Yeah, we went with Samuel. We, Samuel. We like the we like yeah. the uh, sound of Sam Slay. We think that I like seems Sam fun. Slay. Mm-hmm. And also in the Bible, Hannah, that's my wife's name, gives birth to Samuel. Oh. And I thought that was fun. Yeah, that is good. Yeah. I, I really like Samuel. Yeah. Is that one of the names we had? No, we didn't talk yeah. about it at it was all. On the, the original, the four listing, yeah. it was number four. Oh, yeah. Okay, it got the least amount of votes, but we didn't have a name until he was born. Yeah, Sam felt seemed like a right. Sam. Yeah. I, I I really do like Sam Slay. That's a good name. It's yeah, a great I think name. so. I think it's, it's going fun. places. I just couldn't bring myself to tell people that my I couldn't bring myself to name my son Duke. Mm-hmm. I wanted to, but I just it felt like more for me. Than for him. And here's yeah. the fun thing: you can still call him Duke. Yeah, yeah. I can call him like Sam John Wayne. Like, call him yeah. whatever you want. It's uh, cool. yeah, it's alarming. Duke can be alarming. Yeah, when it's like dusty, <clears throat> it's like almost like it doesn't let up. Yes, you know what's your daughter's name? Daisy. Daisy. Yeah. So dusty. It's like dusty Daisy, Hannah Duke. Daisy Duke. It would be like someone's like I don't. They might get vertigo. <laughs> yes. They're just like, oh. Yes. This was a see like Sam, and they're like oh. A nice American family. Yeah, we got yeah. And then their got, wife's Canadian. They go, wait a second. <laughs> but now an American citizen. She just took her. Now she is. Yeah. She is here. Yeah. She's one of us. Sam yeah. <clears throat> born from just a American family. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. But yeah. was does Daisy get any like cause her mom was still uh I don't know. I think she can apply for dual citizenship. That'd be interesting. Is like does Daisy have to go through a lot more headache then and then sam's gonna be like i mean i'm just rocking and rolling our daisy can travel more so. now da- well, daisy, daisy was born in the u.s yeah, right so she's so an american citizen automatically she's got a, she's yeah. got a passport already yeah because we went to canada with her yeah so okay i got a passport for the first time at like 26 my daughter already has one yeah i didn't get on a plane till about 26 yeah she's i got one late on one. too yeah well i think you just travel more now it's like it's it's uh uh, you you just didn't take planes back then. You had to, it was you had to call the airport. You, it was a whole thing, so yeah. it wasn't. Now you can book one on your phone. I can book one in under a minute. Yeah, you can book a flight. It's crazy. So like, it's just a lot more attainable than it was back then. Yeah, I mean, I was booking flights in the hospital. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I was just hanging. I was like, I got nothing going on here. Yeah, there's really nothing. I, I mean, it seems funny, but it's like my wife's in pain. She doesn't want me over there going. You okay? You okay? How's it going? So it's better if I just do my own thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The other thing I'll tell him, Dusty, is he had a, has a meal train for people to deliver meals, and he shared it on all his social media yeah. for the whole world to see his address and phone number. Oh. <laughs> I had no idea all that info was in there. Yeah. We were just like, well, not a lot of people have signed up. I mean, we're fine, but not a lot of people had signed up. But Hannah was like, we were talking, we are like, why not just share it on social media, see what happens? So we did, and then someone messages me like an hour later. Maybe don't share your home address. Yeah. I go, well, that's a, that's good thinking. Yeah, did you take it down? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did you get any meal? What does that do? Well, people will sign up and then bring us food. They drive it to you? Yeah, Brian brought me some food yesterday. Oh. Yeah? yeah. What did, you, did you make something? Yeah. What did you, the what do you cook? No. I uh, stopped and I asked him what he wanted. He said, whatever. Panera. 
something good. <laughs> Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory. Now, he picked up some a Whole Foods uh, meal for us. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Some chicken. Some and you take it to the house? Yeah. Oh. Our little daughters hung out yesterday. Yeah, Daisy and yeah. Eleanor. Uh, yeah, yeah it's fun. That's fun. Yeah. Got them some Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. You know about DoorDash. Yeah. Maybe uh, you don't. Get actually, the... Aaron got me uh, got me some Grubhub. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was willing to drive. No, see, this is the thing. I'm yeah. all about individual choice, mm-hmm. yeah. personal freedom. Mm-hmm. So I said, why don't you make your own choice? You get your own food. I'm not going to show up and at your house you and bother it. you after you have a kid. Mm. You know what I mean? And you pay for it? <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? Like you just say. Oh. I, it's just a gift card. Yeah. Yeah. And then you yeah. can you can use whatever you want. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. So, you know, and my sister's been up all week. My sister's like a professional mom and mm. she has been knocking it out. I mean, we've got the house is clean. You got, we got, she cooked all these soups and froze it. And we got meals for weeks now. Mm-hmm. I mean. We're gonna. We're set. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that when I was bringing that yeah. food over. Well, we didn't know she was gonna be doing that <laughs> this either. Guy's barely scraping by. <laughs> yeah. Go by. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like this poor mill train. Yeah. Only yeah. last. Well, you know what though? Uh, we tore that up yesterday. It was so good. Oh, good. Yeah. We tore mm-hmm. it up. Daisy appreciated it. So. I did not bring anything. Yeah, that's the <laughs> bottom line. That's why I want to even bring up the story. Yeah. No, I it's, uh, it's we, crazy. Uh, we've but... been blessed. It's been great. Uh, yeah, I've been saying yeah. blast a lot lately. I'm yeah, I'm like an old lady now. <laughs> you would like to get you know that movie The Village? I watched that with the M, M. Night, mm-hmm. M. Night uh, Shyamalan. Uh, mm-hmm. It's great. It is a good movie. Yeah. How many movies are you going to watch before you watch Shawshank? You're just a never going to. I got okay. another one I want to talk about today. Okay, but it's and it's not that. Uh, <laughs> but that's a you would like to live in that like it's a. I've it's never a village, seen it. I don't think. But it's a village where it's like you want. Your world, you want like a spoiler. town. It's a major spoiler, by the way. It's almost not like the Amish. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That is a major spoiler? Yeah. What did I say? They well, live in a village. A... They give that away in the title. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not, they live, they, they live in a village. They're all like, but it's like they help each other. It's like you want, like okay. you're a person yeah. that likes that. Like you like, the mill train is part of that. Like, yeah. you know. Everybody yeah, I comes want a over little and, community where yeah, we yeah. all live and farm yeah. together. And, yeah. yeah, yeah, and you also put that pressure on your fans yes. that are just trying to enjoy your comedy. <laughs> yeah. Just to go, will you also bring me food? Exactly. Yeah, it's understandable. <laughs> I'm trying to get it. Jump. Yeah, that's what this comedy is all about. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. I, I'm not really into comedy. Someone's just like, you know, that comic I randomly found. <laughs> I got to go drive him some KFC <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> A lady, a lady did uh, a fan did bring me some food. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Signed up. We had no idea who she was. That's nice. Yeah, she signed up. I met her at a. I did actually. My specific address number was not on there, so you could figure out the street, but not the not the house. It's well, pretty, I mean, they could probably just easy. look for the fence that's yeah. the wrong. Yeah, the only <laughs> fence that's wrong, and then they're. And they narrowed it down. Well, you know, but the, you know, I, I, I'm I'm not too confident everybody can narrow things down these days. Yeah. I know, but if they go, you're the only fence in the neighbor. You like you're. I mean, I'll be out there barefooted in the front yard, watering yeah. the grass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of. It's like tips, just drive so. down the street and go. Who looks like the problem? Yeah, and then go. That's Dusty. <laughs> like, I asked Ruth yesterday. I said, which one of these do you think's Dusty's house? And yeah, she's like, it's that one. Yeah. What, what what pointed it out to her? I, I'm, I'm trying, I just realized the oh, uh, tin foil on the roof. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> all in the backyard. <laughs> I've been to all of your houses. It's painted black. The whole house is black. It's got that 5G on the outside of it. I looked like, up some that? 5G paint the other day. Yeah. It's very expensive. It's dark yeah. colored, right? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's good. You almost got to put it down as a base coat. Yeah. And then paint whatever color you want over it, right? Several coats of primer to cover. Yeah. Well, you did have some random copper wire kind of sticking out of the ground. Well, that's the electroculture that I'm into. Oh. Have I talked about that on here? I don't think so. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) But that's maybe one tip for Ruth. Well, yeah. I mean, that's the, you know, electro, that's where you got the copper wires that you make these antennas that's Mm -hmm. supposed to be collecting energy from from the atmosphere to Mm -hmm. bring it down into the garden. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying. Oh, that's into your actual garden. Yeah. Yeah. And the copper wire goes down and runs into the ground. And then it... It's supposed to... I mean, the garden looks good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it could be the years... It could be I, the water and sunlight. Yeah, but, the years I've been putting into it, but yeah. it looks good this year. Everything... Uh, I'd imagine for Hannah, it's a, you're a lot. 
Yeah. And like everything's going to be, we have a garden and then she's got to be like, <sighs> we also have copper wire coming out of the garden. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, like, it's everything's going to be one extra thing. Yeah. She gets a normal life, but then also has to go, well, we also, you know. Well, that's a great thing about this podcast. See, I put it all out there mm-hmm. so everybody knows. Yeah. That so is when good. they meet Hannah, they already know. Yeah. They say, bless her heart. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I realize I've She's been to all, all your, your houses numerous times, and none of you have been to mine. Mm. My mm. wife came to your house. When have you been to my house? I've picked you up and taken you places when your car wasn't running. Oh, okay. I went to your house a ton, though, at your apartment. I went Back in the there. old days, yeah. Yeah, I'll well, I, mean, I get everybody gets now when we had to sh- on the road when we were shooting your <laughs> yeah we were at there were four times a week shooting <laughs> auditions yeah I can't yeah. recall an invite from you yeah neither can I well all of you are welcome oh, yeah thanks, thanks, man. Man. Yeah. so I'll see you tomorrow all right <laughs> now I came over and you helped me with some Adobe oh that's right I remember that now yeah okay sorry I forgot about that it's all right it's all right you uh we're doing a big race this weekend huh. So, yeah, so I had, uh, I went and did, uh, I, I was the pace car, supposed to be driver. So when they, they asked me to do this, the pace car driver, uh, I was like, well, they're not going to let me drive. Like, it, you know, you're like, mm. it's 2023, like, they're not letting people just drive the pace car in front of these cars that are worth millions of dollars. Mm. Uh, but you were, I was going to get to, which is insane. And, uh, but, but you have to get certified. So you, they like, you got to like at one thirty, I'm supposed to get there and I got to go drive around the track a few times to like, so they can be like, all right, you're good. You got it. And there was lightning. So every time there's lightning uh, and, and then it was like, I was going to get to do it. And then there was one, another strike of lightning. So then I just never got to get certified. So I was just a rider in the pace car, which is what I thought I was going to be doing. But now I'm like, well, I'd like to come back and yeah. drive this car. It's so insane driving it. The pace car and those cars are behind you. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're Ross Chastain who won the race. He is directly behind us and uh, in the pace car. And he look how close wow. he gets. He gets. <laughs> I mean, dude, in these cars, you're seeing them do that turn. It, it's how fast are you going? Only like 45, 50. We're not going fast. Okay, but it feels like you're going fast. Yeah. Uh, and then those. I mean, they're just right there, dude. Like it's it's and they're just so it's loud and they're. Like you get like a little sense of like what it would be out there, just like this is crazy, man. Yeah. And uh, it was an awesome, awesome uh, experience. And going to a live race is uh, really, really fun. Yeah, it's like awesome. going to a NASCAR races. Uh, it's when you hear the cars start and they're going. It's just like it's very like man, this is exciting stuff. Yeah. And then uh, I met Dell Junior. That's awesome insane i was back there waiting to go get in the pace car and then i mean he came up to me and uh <laughs> like i mean i was like laura was like you know couldn't none of we were just like, kind of in shock and then uh uh he was very nice and uh it was like super cool to meet it like i mean you know i mean i'm such a big fan of him uh obviously yeah uh and then he he know you're i don't know if is it yeah i'm doing yeah. a gig for yeah. him yeah. Up, yeah, he told me that. Yeah, oh, so nice. yeah, he said we got Dusty doing a a, a, a charity thing for yeah, him. It's very like that. exciting. Yeah, that's how I get the rest of my family to know I've uh, made success. Yeah, yeah, he was pumped about <laughs> it, uh, and so it was. Uh, yeah, it, that was that was crazy to get to do that, and the uh, the whole day was. Yeah, it's yeah. NASCAR is so fun. NASCAR. I mean, is I fun. don't get into it as much as I used to, but I've been to a Bristol. Uh, and and you can see the whole track the whole time because mm. it's such a small. Uh, it's it's wild. Yeah, I would like to go to Bristol. Yeah, uh, it would be uh, when we went to all the all the kids because uh, my buddies went and then uh, my parents and then uh, so all the kids uh, the girls picked Ross Chastain. Uh, I think is that his name? Yeah, I think it's his name. Mm-hmm. And then uh, he. They picked him at the beginning. He was the pole setter. So he's, he was the one in the car that got real close to me. And they picked him because, uh, you know, they don't know that he's a pole setter. But someone just goes, if he wins, he throws a watermelon on the ground. <laughs> so then all the girls are like, well, that's our guy. <laughs> yeah. And so they're, they they picked him to win. We got shirts uh, with a watermelon on it. And then he wins. 
And uh, Justin Smith, our buddy Justin Smith, his girlfriend, uh, is they went to high school with him. Wow. And so it's uh, they're all very proud of him and everything he's doing. And I mean, he's killing it. And it was, uh, yeah, the whole thing was awesome, dude. Any idea why he throws a watermelon? He's from a watermelon farm. Okay. So that's the, and then he throws it on the ground and he eats it. And he so eats it is- like, he eats it like one thing of it where you're like, ah, oh, that's for show. And then he picks up another part and eats again. You're like, I mean, this guy's eating this watermelon. He's getting after it. Like yeah. he's like, he loves watermelon. That's his way of being like, <laughs> I don't have to work on a farm anymore. And he's yeah. Throwing the- <laughs> yeah. We can afford now yeah. to just waste watermelon. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the the whole thing was uh, was awesome, and we got to go. And Old Dominion was there, and so uh, I got What's to see that? them. It's a band, oh. but I, I I do like them a lot, and uh, so it was fun to see them and uh, the Bustin and the Boys, uh, Taylor Lewan oh, yeah. and Will Comp, and they were there, and so uh, it was you know it was like a fun it was like a fun day, a lot of stuff, a lot of you know. All the kids loved it. Some they Titans were there. Things. I saw. Yeah, I didn't Will, see them. Will I think I saw that. I, now that I saw a picture of him, and then I saw that they were there, I was like, "Oh, I might have seen him standing there at one point." I didn't realize who it was. But what more do you have left to do in Nashville? Uh, you know, governor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, uh, it's, yeah, he, uh, skips, he skips mayor, goes to state. Yeah, for mayor. I, guess, I met point. the mayor of Lebanon. Oh, you did? Yeah, I met him. Did he know Brian? You uh, probably, did you grow up with him? Yeah, right? Brian. I, I told him, like, I think he knew you. Like, he needed to know you and knew uh, everything. But I, like, talked to him for a second. He was very nice. Who is, I, I don't uh, know. I don't know. Is it Philip Craighead? Uh, oh, Rick Bell. Rick yeah. Bell? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he worked at, yeah, he was a professor at Cumberland University, and my sister at Took, when she went there for a second, she took a class with him. And then her husband uh, is works at that school. And so he was there when he first got hired. So we just it knew a lot of the same people. And then uh, uh, super nice guy. Yeah, it was cool. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there would be uh, – I don't know what there is to do, you know. Well, Have you done the coin toss at a Titans game or something like that? No, like being 12th man. 12th man. 12th yeah, man would, that would be, be cool. 12th man would be good. You uh, rolled out on the chariot, but yeah. But 12th man, yeah. Being 12th man would be good. And then. Uh, what does that mean to be the 12th man? You're one of the more important men on the team. <laughs> okay. And right. uh, top 13. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. better than 13th. Yeah. The 13th okay. man is, he would kill to be in your position. Okay. And you know that. And that's why you stay at the 12th. So the it's 11 football players on the field. And so you're the 12th man. So you represent the, the crowd. Oh, okay. It's like an honor. I've heard yeah. the audience being the 12th man. Yeah. yeah. But so, oh, so you just represent the crowd. Yeah. And you go and do. You go out there and you take a big sword. The sword and, and stab it in the ground. Yeah. And oh. Everybody goes and you're like, cool. yeah. yeah, it's fun. All right. I like that. Yeah. It's yeah. very cool. And so, yeah, to be 12th man. You uh, can leave Vandy out on the field. Yeah. Yeah, I've never got to do that. Leave Vandy out. I like that. Uh, it gets hard when, like, because we tour when all this stuff is happening. Yeah. So it's like I'm just never here. Uh, so when you get asked to do stuff, you just are now busy. You could present at the NHL Hockey Awards. Yeah, I'm doing that tonight. Uh, tonight I'm presenting at the NHL Hockey Awards. I, th- I believe it's on TNT. Uh, I actually have uh, what I got to say. And I'm gonna just do it because this because uh, it'll be out. I hope this comes out tomorrow. I, it's probably live, right? Yeah, I think it airs tonight. Yeah, so I can read this now. But they mm-hmm. wrote they wrote this, so I got to read this on the give it a run like, through. Yeah. Jokes, I'm gonna get a run through and see uh, right. how it uh, sounds. What's up, Nashville? <laughs> Wait, they got question mark and apostrophe after. And, so uh, you're presenting by yourself. Yeah. Okay. I like to do it that way too. That it's like it shows you're excited. Yeah. It's obviously a question, but you're not really. Yeah. Asking. It's both. What's up, Nashville? Yeah. You know? right. I'm presenting the James Norris Memorial Trophy for top defenseman. Ooh. Did I say that right? Defense yeah. Yeah. man. Yeah. You nailed it. Uh, <laughs> the first one. The person de- defense man. <laughs> they wrote this joke, and I think I read it quickly. I think I'm on board. With this person who wrote the joke, I'm pretty impressed with. Mm-hmm. Okay. Personally, I've never defended anything in my life, especially myself. If someone wanted to fight me on the ice, I'd pull my own jersey over my head to save time. <laughs> I'd rather help you. I'd rather help you so I can get in the penalty box quicker, where it's safe. 
if the refs gives me five minutes, maybe I'm talking maybe I'm talking them up to ten or just kick me out so I can go to the locker room and shower off my tears. And I'd never get in front of a hundred mile per hour shot, even if my wife was the goalie. <laughs> I'd be hiding behind her, like, you got the pads, babe. I'll be the big spoon. That's just me. So here are your finalists. <laughs> it's pretty That's good. All right. It's pretty good. It's yeah. pretty good. It's not bad. I'll probably uh nade it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And then uh <laughs> So for top defenseman, yeah. uh, I've never defended anything in my life. Uh, you know, if someone like if I had to get in a fight on the ice, I, I would, I would pull my own jersey over my head, uh, and then uh, let me see. I'd rather help you so I can get in the penalty box quicker. Where it's a, I like I would just pull my own jersey over my head and just go right to the penalty box. And the refs like you got five minutes. I'm like just give me ten minutes. I always thought too. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I'm like, just give me ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. You know, give me ten minutes. You know what? I'll I'll leave. I would. That's how terrifying hockey is. I would think anytime I got kicked out of the game, I would be like, all right. <laughs> like now, I would just be like, the relief. Yeah. You know, just to be like, I don't got to be out there the rest of the day. All right, I'll take it. Uh, it is terrifying though. Yeah. To think that you like to just be able to skate. Yeah. It would be amazing. But yeah. then you also could get shoulder blocked. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So here are your finals. Checked? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I might be. Do I got to say the whole – I guess I could – I might type it out. I'm presenting the – yeah. Personally, I've never defended anything in my life, uh, especially my wife. There you go that and they're like, what? And, go, what? and here are the finalists. <laughs> I could do my joke about defending uh, my old joke. Like, we yeah. have a gun and I don't remember the joke, but. Sleeps on their bed. Uh, personally, I never defended anything in my life, especially myself. Uh, you're like, oh. You could do the one about my wife asked me yeah. if I take a bullet for me. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Mm. That, yeah, that joke, but like. I thought you were talking about I the did. home intruder. Joke. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. Oh, well, that's what it is, right? Taking a bullet. I think about the one with the switchblade. And yeah. I thought there were two different jokes. Yeah, I don't know. They're all blurred together. Yeah. <laughs> If someone would fight me on the ice, I'd pull my own jersey over my head, uh, get right to the chase. <laughs> yeah. If someone would fight me on the ice, I'd cut right to the chase and pull my own jersey over my head. I'd rather help you so I can get in the penalty box quicker where it's safe. See, I don't know if I'd, I've never defended anything in my life. Person, like I, That's the part I don't. Yeah. But as it seemed to go, I'm presenting the James Norris Memorial Trophy for top defenseman. Uh, I'm not a defenseman. Uh, I mean, if someone wanted to fight me on the ice, I'd pull my own jersey over my head and save time. That's like better, right? Yeah. A little right to it. I don't know if I like, if someone wanted to fight me on the ice, I would, uh, I'm with you. I, don't, I would just yeah. not fight. I would ask them, yeah, if someone wanted to fight me on the ice, I would say, I do not want to fight. I would say that. That's funny, right? Just yeah. to say, yeah. I do not. He goes, let's fight. I go, I do not want to fight. <laughs> just yell that can you yell that you know just in my mask i just yes like, i know i lifted i do not want to fight <laughs> no thank you and then the the ref's like we got to go in the penalty box for five minutes you go i'll just do 10 minutes if, <laughs> i'll be honest with you i'm fine with just leaving the game yeah i don't know how i made it this far uh and being a goalie you're like are you out of your mind that puck is so fast. That's crazy. And you have all the stuff. I was a catcher once. All right, here are your finalists. <laughs> uh, huh? A little something like that. It's getting better every time. That's, yeah. yeah, that's getting better. A little mm -hmm. choppy, a little... Yeah, a little nady. A little nady. All mm -hmm. right. All right. Yeah, be a mix of that. Adam Fox, New York Rangers. Uh, Eric Carl Carlson. Eric Carlson, San Jose Sharks. Cal... Oh boy, <laughs> Makar, uh, Kale. It's it's C A L E, but it's pronounced K A Y L. Okay, Kale, Kale, Kale Makar, Colorado. It sounds Avalanche. like they just confuse the pronunciation. It's like that's how I'd say it anyway. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I kind of hope Adam Fox wins. <laughs> <laughs> Him just going off the names. Yeah. Of, I hope they they're all winners. Carlson. It's not that bad. Kale McCarr. Colorado Avalanche. Mm, who's going to win? Did I do it? Do I you don't, have the winner on No, there? I don't. Uh, 
Then the James Norris Memorial Trophy goes to Reed Winner's name. Winner walks up. Uh, they don't give me the He'll they, read they that part. Know. You're saying all uh, this. Announce. Yeah, I, go, I keep going. Winner graphic, go. Winner acceptance. Winner playoff prisoner. That's all. Exit. <laughs> and then uh, I keep going. What's up, Nashville? I'm presenting the James Norris Memorial Trophy. All right. It's exciting stuff, man. I'm uh, top for top, top defenseman. I've never been a defenseman. <laughs> For anything, I don't defend anything. <laughs> if someone wanted to fight me on the ice, I would ask, why am I even on this ice? That's not that good, right? Uh, if someone wanted to fight me on the ice, I would say, I do not want to fight, <laughs> especially on this ice. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's pretty good. Just be very direct with them. Yeah. I mean, I those mean, hockey fighters is like, what if they did that? Y'all just start fighting. Just what if someone goes, I would like, I don't yeah. think we, I don't want to fight. And it, uh, I'm not a defenseman of my own self. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a, personally, I'm not a defenseman. Head. You're like, I'm not yeah. a defenseman. I'm more of an offense guy. I'll come I'm straight more, at you. Yeah. Well, well then, but then I would be I'm coming, fighting. Yeah. No need to I'm defend I don't when I'm coming fight. right at you. Yeah. Ref, because we'll just go to the penalty box. Couldn't would love to go very <laughs> I love, unnate. Get I go. Really how aggressive. great is the penalty box? That that like that's the penalty funny. box has got to be just a nice relief. Mm -hmm. You've just been in a fight and you're just. <sighs> I always think because you know when the clock's counting down in the penalty, as soon as it hits zero, they open that door and that guy shoots out. Yeah. If it were me, <laughs> I wouldn't have my pads ready. <laughs> My stick yeah. would be over there. Oh. It would be 15 seconds after it's over, and I'd still be gathering I'd my hope stuff. the door's locked, and they're like, we can't get the penalty. My my dream would be they can't get the penalty box open, and they go, you got to just stay in there. And I go, all right, man, I'm so mad. And I go, I can't get in there. And then I would say, I didn't get, you know, I couldn't get back in. Uh, you go get, uh, get go take a shower early. No one's in there. That's nice. Your shirt's you get, already off. Sure, yeah, they, they already yanked your jersey off. You I don't think know I'd want to start at. a fight just to get them to help me. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be hard to get that jersey off with yeah. all those pads. Once the jersey goes over your head, that's tough to – It's tough to come back from that. It's cool. tough to come yeah. back from. Uh -huh. you know, once someone gets a jersey over your head, it's, that's a tough one. That's, yeah, it's hard to get past that. Yeah. All right. All right, we'll see how it goes tonight. Why don't you tell us a little bit about HelloFresh? Well, let me tell you something. Hello fresh. Hello folks to Hello Fresh. We uh we eat Hello Fresh almost every night. I mean, uh honestly, Laura makes all this. This is one of those uh ads that you get that you're like, that's what we're that's what we do already. Mm -hmm. Uh it's uh, America's number one meal kit. Uh save money off your growing to-do list with the help of Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. Uh, it's very easy. The app makes it so easy to quickly change your delivery day, food preferences, and plan size, or skip a week whenever you need to. We love HelloFresh. Saving time is key, and the re recipes are not hard to follow, and most of their meals are quick, so we can get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes or less. The burgers and pastas are some of our favorite recipes. You know, we have just a family of three, so uh, even like some of the meals is like we can we can really eat one meal and like it's plenty of food and uh, it's uh, it's I mean HelloFresh is pretty crazy. It's like I think that's what people are gonna that's what that's how the future is just mm. you know the grocery store. It's kind of it's kind of crazy that but the grocery store is gonna be just this and you just go. But I mean you get a meal. I, I like all their meals. We eat them all the time. Go to HelloFresh.com slash NateLand sixteen. And use code NATELAND16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. That is HelloFresh.com slash NATELAND16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. 16 free meals. That's a good deal. That's a lot. That's a good deal. That's like the old Columbia Music House when you could get yeah. 15 CDs for a penny. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, that's a good deal. Never heard of that. Uh... I, I wanted to. I, I put. I had notes in here for this podcast. Oh wow! Because I wrote, uh, watched a movie last night. The Village. <laughs> no, <laughs> different one. Yeah, that was a different. That's a different thing. I don't know if you're all trying to say something or. 
<laughs> is it just <laughs> I'll let you I mean I had I had a scenario I was going for a while but we can do this and then uh, okay uh, <laughs> well, I don't know you, you yeah. know yeah, yeah we got your baby I've out. said sure, a lot sure, I've sure. said yeah. a lot yeah. already yeah. I've sure. talked about electro culture which is really what I'm trying to spread yeah yeah. yeah. look I'm just trying to bring some entertainment to this show uh, <laughs> podcast stuff I put it in uh, what is oh I did a member guest this weekend too uh, so, uh, did what a member guest. So m- the course I'm a member at, uh, every, every like private course has a member guest tournament. So you, to the member brings a guest and you play. Yeah. And so we made it to, we finished second place overall first. So there's flights. So ev- there's like, uh, you know, like f- six teams are in a flight mm-hmm. and then you kind of get paired up. And then if you win your flight, you go to a shootout. And when you go to the shootout, Everybody that didn't make it goes and drives golf carts and just follows you around. Oh wow! And so you're hitting in front of. It's honestly the most nervous. It's I honestly, it's more nervous. I was more nervous here than I was Bridgestone. Really? I mean, yeah. I mean, now Bridgestone, you're doing something I'm way more confident in. Mm-hmm. But it's look at these carts, dude. You make these putts. These carts are everywhere, and they're. And then, of course, it's just, you know, you're at a golf course, so every, these dudes are loaded. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just yelling. They're chirping. There's a lot of, like, you know, I was, like, putting. So I played White England. My buddy Wyatt, Wyatt played out of his mind. He's uh, so He just really – he's the only reason we were even in this thing. <laughs> kind of bumped you there. And Oh, well, he was pumped, dude. And he, he did great. I had a great chip here. Uh, but Wyatt was the reason we were in play. And, I mean, there's just carts, dude. I mean, there's – 50 carts just sit with people. That's crazy. Them. And you're, you know, and they're like, I had one putt that was a little putt. They're like, you going to make that one? Day? They're just yelling at you. And you're like, I don't know if I'm going to make I, I had a tap in putt that was two inches and it was the most nervous putt I've had uh-huh. over anything when I played Pebble Beach. I was more nervous <laughs> over this just because it was like, it you're, like it would just be embarrassing to mess up. Uh, so we finished second place uh, and it was, it was very fun. And it was a very they they do a great member guester. I'm sure a lot of people that are golfers play in these. And I think I mean every course the member guest is usually the funnest event. Uh, and it's uh, you know, and it depends on where you're at. They can just be. I mean, they can get. You know, there's another course that why it's a member at. They said they did one and there was just a big fight. <laughs> like I mean, people. You know, it's yeah. like I mean, these dudes are just they go out and just the people that drink they start early. And I mean, it's. 8 yeah, that's what golf is all about. I thought was about the drink. It's well, I it's people like to play it, but it, yeah, a, a giant portion of it is the is the drinking, and uh, so they're they love it. Yeah, like you know, and then and you do something like this. It's like, a, like their wives know, like it's member guest. You know, they make a big speech about it. I'm sure it's member guest. You gotta. It's gonna be, and they know they're gonna get there at eight seven a.m. and they're not gonna leave till seven or eight p.m. and then they're gonna come home and you know it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> yeah. Like they're yeah. these dudes. It's just a bunch of old dudes that are getting after it. Uh, but they were. We loved it, and everybody was super cool, and uh, it was super fun. And so uh, we did get. So the movie I want to say because I know I feel like I've talked a lot. Uh, so I watched uh, uh, Vertical Limit. You ever seen Vertical Limit? Mm-mm. No. Don't know it. Never heard of it. Uh, it's got uh, those people in it. <laughs> so Chris O'Donnell's in it. Bill Paxton's in it. Uh, Robin Tooney. Oh, I've seen Like, you know them all. Think. Yeah. That main guy, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's Which one? Some stuff. Which Scott one? Glenn. He's not the main. He's... He is a uh, he's one of the I mean he's a somewhat main guy in it but Bill Paxton probably I mean, Bill and Chris O'Donnell and uh, are probably the two big ones but they want to climb uh, the K two mountain which is like the crazy mountain and then they get most difficult one on earth to climb yeah. they say so he wants to go climb this mountain in the movie uh, it was like there's just funny stuff in it uh, like it, I've talked about that. I've talked about when you write a TV show it's like you got to have conflict. Sure. You know? And so, like, that's what, if you, if you, a movie or a TV show, like, if you go try to sell it to a network or somewhere, they're going to be like, well, where's the conflict? And this was nothing but conflict. Mm. <laughs> it's A, it starts with the hardest mountain ever to climb. So there's your first conflict. Yeah. 
And then it's like the second, uh, and then the conflict after, it was like too much. So to start the movie, uh, the the girl, Chris O'Donnell and that Robin are uh, Tooney, are brother and sister. Their dad dies. And uh, so their dad dies in a climbing accident with them. So there's your first conflict. Their dad's gone. So they're still them, into climbing. Yeah. They're, well, yeah, they're both into climbing. They don't talk that much. The the uh, Robin has become the best female climber in the world, and uh, Chris O'Donnell is I forget what he is. He's like one thousand journalist. Best. No, he's like a <laughs> he's I don't know what he is. He's like a journalist or yeah. something like yeah. that. And uh, but he's in still climbing. So then they randomly are at K two at the same time, and so now they're there. And it's like, oh, you know, I don't want to tell you, your sister's down there. And it's like, oh, how's she doing? Like, and it's all these mountain people that are like, you know, she's doing art. They all just know each other. And I guess they would. How's she doing? She's the best in the world. She's the best in the world. Yeah, she's she's on the cover of Sports Illustrated. She was like doing all this stuff. So then they go, uh, they go down there and she's climbing Bill Paxton, who's a billionaire that wants to go up there. He wants to climb K2 and he wants to push it to, he doesn't care. He's going to get up to the mountain. Last time he tried, they, uh, I think people died and the weather became bad and so he couldn't do it. So this time he's like, well, I'm going to do it. And they're like, the weather looks good and all this stuff. Weather's not good. Uh, Did you watch this movie because of how relevant it is to everything that happened over the weekend? No. With Titanic? The, yeah, with the submarine. Oh, no. No. But the parallels is, are pretty pretty yeah. obvious. Oh, it's, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah. A billionaire yeah. who... Yeah, that is true. And mm-hmm. it goes down. Yeah. I'd say with this, the, that with the Titanic stuff... I felt like I, the, there was a lot of jokes and stuff, but you're like, I didn't really love all the jokes. I hated like, the you're jokes. Like, you're like so the memes mean. and stuff, and you're like, it's as a society, you want to go, you know, dude, like, I mean, they, they had no idea. Like, what are these bad people? Like, everybody's like happy. There's a lot of that. Like, yeah. a lot of that where you're like, what's wrong with you? Mm-hmm. Like, it's sad. I totally agree with you. I, Dustin Nickerson had the best tweet I saw. He said the reason that James Cameron had to put a Leo DiCaprio, a poor young kid in Titanic, is because if it wasn't for that, it, it would be a comedy. Just rich people yeah. dying on a ship. Yeah. You got to put a poor person there for people to care. <laughs> yeah. Which I thought yeah. was a good point. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. yeah. It's still like, you don't root for it, man. Like, it's whatever. Like, it's it's crazy. Uh, what do you think really happened, Dusty? So, well, I've not been able to keep up with it, but I mm-hmm. always think it probably just didn't happen. Oh yeah, that's what I always think. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get to. You know, it's hard to watch stuff when you got vertigo and a baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I can't be like, "Hey, keep the baby down." I'm trying to watch a video on the submarine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, that's always my thought. And also, I thought, you know what? Maybe have NASA build you some submarines. Yeah, it was just you know uh, I mean? uh can't it, they, They've get, been down a bunch. Can't seem to figure out this water thing. But we got space yeah. down pretty well. Let's get NASA working on these submarines. It's mm. someone. It's it's. I think. Uh, it's gonna roll. I think down everybody there. like takes uh, like now with social media. Weirdly enough, it's like they, people take things very lightly. Like they like, and this is my back to be like how great life is right now, even though the terrible things. Everybody thinks like, well, you can't die anymore. Like nothing's going to happen to you. Like it, life is amazing. And like, and they almost, so they're like, yeah, we'll just go down there and go see it. And you're like, hey, it's uh, nature and everything's kind of like, yo, we're still like a problem. Mm-hmm. And if you go, I mean, once you go down to a certain level, like light is not down there. And then sure, like you yeah. get so deep, it's like that submarine just goes and crumbles. And so then the guy that's making the submarine like seems like there was problems there. Like that guy's just trying to like, Make money. I mean, they they don't. No one. You it can't might, trust anybody wants to put in hard work. And they just picked the and they and it's horrible. But they got a guy that is running that thing that apparently did not want to work. He mm-hmm. doesn't. They don't want to work. They don't want to overly check everything. They don't want to be si- hey, you people are not about serious a about things. control operator to try that thing a couple of times before you send people. Well, they there. have. They it that was they've the thing. They made successful trips down there. But it's just in that submarine. Yeah. But it was just a matter of time before. So who were yeah. the people on the submarine? Maybe they were trying to kill those people. No. Well, it's that. I mean, it's a billionaire. So and his son. I mean, it costs like 150, 250 grand. 250,000. 250,000. So I saw person. one thing Mr. Beast said he was asked to go on. It. Yeah. Yeah. And then he didn't. But it's like, uh, yeah. I mean, I, luckily, it's like 
Not luckily, but like I, that's something I would never be able to. You're in a just a two size of a minivan, almost yeah. smaller. Yeah. Than that. And you're just sitting in there, and it's eight hours down. Yeah, I'm not into it. And like that would be, <laughs> if you won a contest somehow, you can go for free. Would you do it? No, no, I couldn't. Especially handle if they're it. giving yeah. it away, I would need. <laughs> I don't know if I would enjoy like seeing the pictures of it. You're still seeing that Titanic through a window. Uh huh. So it's like, what's the difference of me? Like, I would be more interested to like go down enough where you can't see sunlight. Like, I think that would be kind of crazy. Just oh, you to, can do that. Yeah. No, I know. Pretty easily. Well, I'm saying, like, there's stuff like that. I would be more interested in, like, just being like, let's go down to, like, whatever the safest areas that's, like, no sunlight. And I don't know if I need to go down to the bottom of, you know, that stuff. But Most people want to see things. You want to see less. You want to just... Well, I'm just saying, if you've seen it through a window and, then mm-hmm. like, you're just, like, stuff could go wrong. There's like a National Geographic video where this guy talked about going way deep down and he was like, they got so far down that there were like underwater lakes. And I don't even know how that's possible, but he he did, it was a National Geographic thing where he talked about there being underwater lakes. Wow. It's so wild. That's why I'm like, always like, the ocean seems so much more interesting to me than space. Uh, I just don't know why that's not our main exploration. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, I think we're trying, yeah. and then everyone laughs when you die trying. Yeah, you know? yeah, so yeah, they should. Well, I don't think it's funny if people die, but I always question every uh, if 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 that even. Yeah, if there is an ocean, uh, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Say, there's been a lake in an ocean. You tell yeah. me. Yeah. Well, if you've seen some of the Great Lakes, you're like, well, yeah. is this the ocean? <laughs> yeah, or is this? Tell. Yeah. Uh, so I did not do it because of that, but so I was watching Vertical Limit, like. Uh, I, I, mean, I guess I, I don't know if I'm going to ruin it for this. Is a very old movie. This came out 2000. in 2000. Yeah, it's 2000. And it's like, <coughs> I'm not, there's no, you know, this is not a. I've never even heard of this movie. Yeah, this is not a movie that you're like, it's not Sixth Sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. This means, this increasingly, the Rotten Tomato score means nothing to me. Yeah, but the audience one is usually. Pretty, I don't even care about the audience yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was like... Have you I, ever filled out a fun. review on Rotten Tomatoes? No. Well, there you go. It's yeah. just like, who's who's taking the time to yeah. review Chris this Chris O'Donnell stuff? really had a moment, but he's kind of gone. Though. He did. He's uh, still great. So he so they go in, uh, right? So like, uh, he wants to go climb up. He's using this person. So then there's that guy that you said is in other movies. Uh, yeah. Scott Glenn. Scott Glenn. So he's like a guy that's climbed the mountains forever and... Uh, He's been up there. He's lost all his toes. And he took <laughs> the billionaire guy up. The first time, he took them up. And then, so this billionaire guy goes up again. And then that's when he gets him to be like, uh, Chris O'Donnell's like, my sister's up there. We need you to go help us climb because we got to get there in 24 hours. Or they're going to die because they've been, there's an avalanche. And they got crammed under the avalanche because there's a storm. Because when they're <clears> climbing, <throat> there's a storm. And then they go, the obstacle hey, after obstacle. I mean, just yeah. like conflict, conflict. They goes, there's a storm. And then they go, uh, all right. The guy goes, well, we're just going to keep going. Bill Paxton, the billionaire, goes, we're just going to keep going. And then the other guy's like, I mean, it's a storm. Dude. Like, it's like, it's just over. And then he talks him into it. And then the girl, that's the greatest climber ever, is like, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, she doesn't, you know, her whole life is on a mountain. Yeah. And you're on the the craziest mountain ever. And like that's like the most known thing that storms come. And so they go, they fight through it. Uh uh, if you're looking at this picture, a million bait brack back breaking falls. Those falls where you got a rope just tied around you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everybody <laughs> fell like that three to four <laughs> times. I mean, your back would be shattered. It would just be okay, like you know. <coughs> Uh, so a ton of those falls and then, uh, they go up, uh, they get, they get that helicopter. I mean, they, everybody almost dies with that helicopter. Uh, there's, uh, there's a war going on between India and maybe Iran or something. Pakistan? Pakistan, maybe. It's something. So that war is going on and that's just kind of the backdrop. Is this it's, mountain in that the, part of the country? Yeah. Okay. The backdrop is just like there's a war going on between these countries. And then the uh I think the Indian dudes that were like ran the government were like, "Oh, well we have these like uh 
explosives you can take and try to blow up the hole to get them out of the avalanche because oh, okay. they were buried underneath. <clears throat> yeah. So they take that up, and then uh, they realize, well, sun – gets on that and it makes it explode so then they gotta <laughs> then they gotta put the they gotta get it immediately in snow and cool it down <laughs> okay. uh but i mean they all all of them explode there's three of them and uh, all but one explode the other two just explode just on their own like randomly like they drop it's a big thing then the avalanche comes uh it, it uh and i'm trailing off now Oh, then when they're climbing the mountain, so they finally get that guy to go that's the big climber with no f- toes. Yeah. They get him to come climb, and it's a big deal that he's – because he's done it that quickly before. Mm-hmm. And uh, so he's but going – he had toes last he time. He lost his toes because <laughs> yeah. He's of lost his toes. But he's going <clears throat> to do it. And then Chris O'Donnell's going up there. They need his help. They're trying to save his sister. It's always funny to me when there's – like because when you're like, you got this time strain in a movie, but they still have uh, – like they still got to have like moments of like – they're just sitting there, like, hanging out, laughing. And you're like, I mean, wouldn't you be? Yeah. I think the vibe would be pretty crazy. Yeah. Like, there doesn't feel like a sense of urgency when the urgency is like, we have 24 hours or they're right. dead. Right. And uh, Got to humanize them a little bit. Though. Yeah. And then so he's climbing up. There, Chris O'Donnell and him are climbing up the rocks. And then Chris O'Donnell just stopped. I mean, they're on the side of a, you know, a two-mile rock, just nothing beneath them. And uh, Chris O'Donnell's like, he goes, I don't feel like you're climbing for the right reasons. He tells that guy that he needs. And he goes, uh, he goes, if you got another agenda, then maybe we don't need you to do this. And you're like, and the guy's like, you, your sister's going to die in 12 hours. Yeah, climbing for the wrong reasons. Like, he's like, I'll just do it on my own. And then he goes, then he just gives him the things. And he goes, then go do it. You yeah. got 12 hours. He's like, you know, like you need him. So then he agrees to keep climbing. So then there was that fight. Like, it's crazy that Chris O'Donnell's mind would even go to his sister. He sounds like a journalist. He's trying to press yeah. his – yeah. <laughs> he's trying to help his sister, and he just out of nowhere just goes, yeah, you know what? I don't like this. I mean, I the like way you vibe. I don't, like the, I don't like the vibe I get of <laughs> yeah. you. The way you describe it, though, makes me see why I got 41%. You're describing it negatively. It was very I mean, fun, though. Who yeah. was, what was Robin in? She was in 90210? Sure. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I recognize her. She's been in a ton of stuff. Dex. So then, the, when they're in there, Dexatere oh. is like this. Whatever they take, Dexatere helps them take a shot of Dexatere. I guess it's like a steroid or something, mm. and it helps them if you do it. And uh, so, not to give it all away, but the, that billionaire, Bill Paxson, he has Dexatere. They're trapped. What's Dexatere? It's like a, I think a steroid. I don't even know, oh, okay. but it's like you take it, and it okay. helps you stay alive. Uh, but. <laughs> he it could not be real too, uh, mm-hmm. but he the one there's three of them trapped. One guy's like looks like he's dying. So then Bill Paxton's like, well, we don't need to give him the deck star. He's gonna die. But the girl's like, no, we're gonna give it to him. So they t- both take it, and then Bill Paxton ends up killing him. And then the then you find out the old man, uh, his That's wife was line. killed by Bill Paxton the last time they went because wow. the decks this exact same Whoa. thing. This exact same thing. Bill Paxton has gone to. The K2 Mountain twice and uh, <laughs> got himself. Killed people both times. Got himself in the exact same situation. <laughs> both times, got trapped, had a bunch of Dexatar, and then just immediately was <laughs> like, well, none of y'all can have it because you're basically dying. And yeah. then that, uh, and then the guy's wife was the, you know, and then so that's that's the movie. Did, did they I make don't think it I to the top? It. I bet if people made it through that, that's pretty impressive. Like, <laughs> yeah. if, <laughs> if people probably fast forwarded as I was doing this, I was like, ah, this is not making sense. Did they get to the top though? They got to them. They weren't getting to the top. They got to yeah. them and they, they reached saved. their vertical yeah. limit. Yeah. Yeah. They reached, yeah. They go, you're past the vertical. There's a lot of that. You're past the vertical limit. So, vertical limit is the past to the point where they said, you're not dying up there. You're already dead. That's what the guy said. Mm, okay. So, the, everybody was already past the point of like. Don't you like when they say the title of a movie in a movie? Uh, it's fun for me. I like, I like it. it. He yeah. goes, you can't. He goes, well, it's when it comes out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just like, I don't know if I like. I The best is when Tommy how much Lee like Jones it. and The Fugitive does it. Yeah. Well, how does he do it? Well, I just, he comes, he goes, we got ourselves a fugitive. You know, yeah, something like fun. that. That's and it's fun. A, yeah, it's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. It's like how you do it. I think that was specials is like, uh, I did full-time magic. And yelled at by clown or two that I say. But after that, I was like, I don't. I didn't think I wanted to do it. 
Like it felt weird. But I think it'd have to be it's like how how it's done. It's it's yeah. a tricky thing. It has to be done in a way where you almost don't even realize it was done. You didn't say hello world when you started your special? No. I said I did say the Tennessee kid. Yeah. When I walked out. Like I'm the Tennessee kid. <laughs> uh all right. All right, look. I'm the Tennessee kid. <laughs> uh, they constantly called. I wrote all this down. <laughs> you took some real show notes. Yeah, yeah, Man. yeah. They say the storm is coming. They go, it's coming. And he goes, we're fine. Uh, you know, stuff like that. I like Bill Paxton. Uh, Rest in peace, man. Yeah. He was great. Oh, he died, huh? He did, yeah. Oh, he did? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, that's tough. Yeah, he's been in a lot of great movies. Apollo yeah. 13. Hmm. Tombstone. Oh. All right, we got to read some of your comments. But we're well. Uh, what do you got to do? You climb a mountain like that, you make all those backbreaking falls. You're going to need a Helix mattress. That uh, is true. And and thanks to our friends at Helix Sleep for sponsoring this episode. Now, I bought a twin size Helix mattress not long ago uh, for my daughter. We're going to transition her into that mattress. But because we bought a brought a new baby home. My wife has been kind enough to really do all the baby stuff at night and lets me sleep. So I've been sleeping on this Helix Twin mattress. And I got to tell you, it's been good sleep. I have not slept on a Twin mattress in a long time, and I did not think it would be good. But it's been great. Mm. Not that I didn't think the mattress would be good, but I'm I'm, I'm not used to sleeping on a Twin mattress. Yeah, yeah. plenty of room. Though, huh? I've been sleeping like, like I'm on a cloud up there. Those pillows, I, I rave about the pillows. I'm not even making this stuff up. This is great stuff helix sleep is a premium mattress brand that provides tailored mattresses based on your unique sleep preferences the helix lineup includes 14 unique mattresses including a collection of luxury models a mattress for big and tall sleepers and even a mattress made just for kids take the helix sleep quiz and find your perfect mattress in under two minutes helix mattress are shipped straight to your door, free of charge, with easy, no-contact delivery. And that's true. They delivered it right to my house. I didn't even see them. They didn't come in, try to shake my hand, (laughs) breathe on me. They brought it right in there. Helix knows there is no better way to test out a new mattress than by sleeping on it in your own home. That is why we offer a 100-night trial to try out your new Helix mattress, and they offer a 10- to 15-year warranty depending on the model. Unlike a lot of mattress companies out here, Helix owns its own manufacturing company. Each and every Helix mattress is made in the USA USA, by a team of skilled manufacturers and shipped directly from their facility to your door. Helix supports military, first responders, teachers, and students by giving them a special discount on the site. That's big time. Helix is offering up to 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash Nate. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Boom. Right now. Uh, maybe I need to watch a movie on the K2, those climbing. It is crazy. You seen the movie Cliffhanger? Yeah. I watched that not too long ago. All right. A lot of mountain Very climbing fun. movies you're into. <laughs> Uh, just at the moment, it was like just like uh, you know, the Alpinist on Netflix. You should watch that. It's yeah, great. Yeah, I need to watch really, the first really four good. or five minutes of Ace Ventura. Um, uh, the second Ace Ventura. Yeah, that's a mountain that? climbing. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, Heath Everett. Hello, folks, and hey, Bear. Twelve minutes in, it's clear this episode is going to be an all timer. Buckethead has really brought his <laughs> stage slash podcast persona to the next level. Fun times, gentlemen. Thanks for the laughs. When I read this earlier, I didn't realize they were talking about Brian. I thought that you guys were mentioning the guitar player, Buckethead. Oh, there's a... <laughs> yeah, and I was like, whoa, what happened? We brought him on. Yeah, That's he a real person? It. Buckethead, yeah. what band is he in? Though? I don't know if he's in a band. He just... Ex-Guns N' Roses guitarist, Buckethead. Yeah, I feel like he played with... I don't know. I don't know his whole history, but yeah, Buckethead's a... Is it Slash? I don't think so. It looks like he's got long hair like Slash. But good apparently roses. very good. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Tyler Johnson. In a span of 30 seconds, Nate asked where they run the Indianapolis 500. Then said the race is run through the city. Then said, never mind, it's run on a square track. <laughs> <laughs> that is what keeps me coming back. Do a little 
circle of emotions there. <laughs> uh, Brandy Shekels Coy. Brandy Shekels Coy. It was PF <laughs> Flyers in the Sandlot, Aaron. Maybe Brad Pitt wore Chucks and Moneyball. Now, I've got these two shoes pulled up. Tell me these don't look similar. That's a PF Flyer. That's a Converse shoe. Almost yeah. the same shoe. I mean, they're built exactly the same Someone with the rubber off. bottom <clears throat> and then uh, canvas on well, the, the side. The PF Flyer is like a cheaper version. And I think they were the, the premium. Oh, really? I mean, in the movie, they're built up to be, this is a huge deal that he has these shoes. Yeah. These are the fastest shoes in the world. Yeah. And they look exactly like Converse's. But they're not. But they're not. And I, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Get it right. Uh, it's embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sarah Cranston. I work at a specialty running shoe store, and I just have to say, the book Born to Run made some good points, but it didn't mention concrete at all. We live in an industrial industrialized nation. Good recovery. <laughs> yeah. And people read that book, read that book, and went out to buy those five-finger shoes, then injured themselves, and there was a class action lawsuit. If you're hanging out on the golf course all day, wear whatever you want. But if you're hitting the pavement, please have some cushion. So people were buying those five finger shoes and going and running on concrete. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there should be some, you know, some some laws in there for just people's own stupidity. You know what I mean? <clears throat> like you're buying these and you're like, oh, there's not a lot of cushion. I'm going to go run on concrete. And so they'd be breaking the law. They should not be allowed to sue. Oh, yeah. That's what I mean. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, suing is, it's like a fun thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, What are you, these golf shoes, Nate? Five finger golf mm -hmm. shoes. You think if I showed up on the course with these? I think your swing, they'd be like, that makes sense. (laughs) (laughs) What kind of comments would they say at the member guest round? Yeah. Yeah. If you showed up like that and was like a two (laughs) handicap, like then you'd be. But yeah, when if you showed up like that and you swung, you'd be like, "We got to we're in for a long." <laughs> day. Uh, Josh Case, while Nate was giving Mike a hard time by the size of his shoes, he said they cost more because they have to use a wheelbarrow to bring them into the store. I'm just curious how many of the band know that it's actually wheelbarrow. I did not. Is it? That's what I've always said is a wheelbarrow. It is wheelbarrow. I I got into this because a children's book had that in there like that. And I had no idea. I've always called it a wheelbarrow myself. And it is a wheelbarrow. Wow. Yeah. I I never heard of that. But then you think, why would it be called a wheelbarrow? A barrel? Yeah. I would think because it's like half of a barrel. Almost like you turn a barrel over, cut it in half. But I think a barrel, I think of a wooden barrel. Oh, I think of a metal barrel that you could burn, yeah. a, uh, put a fire in. Oh, That's I think I of think. the wooden Donkey Kong barrel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's like one that you like. Do they just switch it to barrel then just because you're like, we're all doing that? Yeah. Look, that's just. Yeah. Is it, you say, if you buy, I've never heard that. That's unbelievable. Barrow is you a would say derivation a, of the old English barrow, which was a device used for carrying loads. That's yeah, where barrow well, that comes makes sense. from. You would say it. That's what I was taught growing up. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you were taught that the right so things. much. Yeah. Said that you, the rest of us have just heard old relatives yeah. say it over the years. <clears throat> when that family, wheelbarrow? Yeah, <laughs> we dug into the etymology. It might. Yeah. <laughs> so you've always said it the right way. <clears throat> wheelbarrow is how I've always said it. Yeah. <laughs> it's unreal. I know. Unreal. Very educated. Yeah, mm. it is. A long line of education. A long line. That's how you get into It's college. good. We shouldn't yeah. criticize Aaron for being educated. No, yeah, I'm, that's right. I'm marveling at it. Take a submarine down to... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Michael Caulfield. Michelle. Uh, Michelle Caulfield. <laughs> My husband is a retired fire captain. I wish I'd let you captain. stick with it, yeah. Yeah. My husband is a retired fire captain. All the guys in his city's department have a saying for calling out sick, throwing a shoe. What? All the guys in his city's department have a saying for calling out sick, throwing a shoe. It originated from the fact that way back before motorized vehicles, fire engines were wagons pulled by horses. And when a horse loses its shoe, it can't work until the shoe is replaced. Uh, I like that. Yeah. That's fun. They didn't know throwing the, a shoe. the reason behind it. Mm-hmm. Like old sayings like that are fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
That's what I'm saying. You didn't know the reason of throwing a shoe? You know this throwing a shoe saying? No, I didn't know. Oh, okay. (laughs) Well, I thought that's. You got real mad there for a second. It did sound like you were saying, like, oh, I always said that. Now I know what it comes from. I'm saying I like old sayings like that. That's a fun to learn a new one. Yeah. 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 I'm going to throw in a shoe next week. (laughs) I don't know if I can. I can handle them, but not back to back. (laughs) Yeah. Not Will Barrow, and then you also know throwing a shoe. Well, throwing a shoe seems like I need like one in between. A, that seems like more of an expression people that say Will Barrel would know. Oh, yeah. That's an old school. Like like Aaron's family had cars before everybody oh, else yeah. did. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. he didn't know PF Flyers and Sandlot, so yeah. he has- Y'all a- probably never owned a donkey. All horses. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know. Uh Get that mule off our yard, <laughs> as you say, next to the slave family. Uh, Amanda Zirak. <laughs> Zadizirak. They say all three names for serial killers as a courtesy for people who have the same name. I assume people appreciate it if their name is the same as the killer. Still probably awkward for you na- for your neighbors who don't know your middle name. Excited to see you in Tampa in December and looking forward to Nate's in. Interpretation <laughs> of how my name is pronounced because I can't even say it correctly. That's funny. Yeah. Interpret. Wow. What do you say the word? Interpretation. Interpre- Aaron sitting this one out. Interpretation. <laughs> yeah, you go. Interpretation. Yeah. Yeah. You know what it is, Aaron. It's killing you inside. I was just in Tampa. Do you know there are chickens everywhere in that city? Oh, really? Yeah. Just, uh, just on the street. Wow. Ybor City? Yeah, That's Ybor City. Just yeah. packs of chickens running around. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's wild. And everybody acts like it's normal. It's like, this is not this is not going on other places. Key yeah. West, it was like that when I was there, too. What, what happened? Just chi- I think they- Like Florida. Yeah, they just let them roam. Chickens like Maybe the there's not a lot of coyotes down there. Mm-hmm. We need to introduce some coyotes into that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, big snakes. Yeah. That's true. They're not on the street, thankfully. Erica Zachary Whiskey. Zach Whiskey. <laughs> Zachary Whiskey. Zach Whiskey. I'm loving the throwing of the tennis balls after the wedding. Weird family traditions are the best, and they seem so normal to you, but no one else gets it. Yeah, like my uncle too. My uncle heard about this, and he sent me some pictures to verify that this, this happened. So Looks this like is, uh, Hillary Clinton behind him. It was a young Nate, <laughs> yeah, a yeah, young yeah, Nate yeah, hang, yeah. hanging out the tennis balls. It does. That's This is a family friend, Peters. I think that's who that is, handing out tennis balls. We got him very... Uh, Peters? Yeah, Peters is his name. What, plural? Yeah. Last name, I'm guessing. No, that's first name. Oh. The guy, he played football at Purdue, actually. Mm. What's his last name? That, Dr- who did? that guy right there handing out the tennis balls. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's, not... that's my sister on the right. You anyway. want him to throw a tennis ball? He played f- no, he's D1 younger than this. football? Yeah, yeah. Peters is his first name? Yeah, it's a family name. And then this is a picture of them actually getting getting pelted here. That's you your sister getting different... hit? No, my sister's not in this picture, oh. but these are my cousins. Oh, look at that. She's right yeah. back. Yeah, they're really getting hit with these things. He says this is payback for he had played some pranks on his... Uh, couple of his other sister's weddings. Yeah. And then this was getting back at him. And so, then it just kept going? Yeah. And then it just became a thing. Yeah. And the way you would have a history like that. The Webbers have a history. What do you mean? Like a tradition like this is like it seems like you're like an old saying. Like the throwing a shoe is like that. Like it's going to be, you know, when people read the encyclopedia about the Webbers. <laughs> yeah. And it talks about your family, how dominant y'all were and. Just on the, you know, came from a lot, big money. Right, right. Stuff like that. Even and, that basket uh, looks fancy. Yeah. And then they're going to go, and then now we all throw tennis balls. And they go, how did that get started? And you go, well. Yeah. You know, the Weber family, everybody goes, of course. <laughs> yeah. Of no, course. In defense of Aaron, he counted out donuts at his wedding. So he's <laughs> taking a different tennis direction. Balls. I do like the I tennis love, balls. I would too. love to have done the tennis yeah. balls. I, just, I think we just forgot about it. Maybe the next one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> Adam Cutepow, Cutepow, Adam Cutepow. Birdseed Bates is not wrong. It was tradition to throw rice at weddings, but there was an urban legend that it would kill birds if they ate it. They changed it to birdseed in the 80s after the Connecticut banned throwing rice at weddings. Do we know that's an urban legend? I looked on Snopes and they say it's not true. Well, I don't trust Snopes. Well, I know yeah. you don't. I, don't trust <laughs> I know you don't, but yeah. yeah. But it's like, yeah, it makes sense though. If the birds eat the rice and then it get it swells up in their stomach. Yeah. I don't think it makes the birds explode, but it could kill them. Well, they tell you not to give seagulls 
Alka Seltzer, right? At the beach. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the things they tell they you. They do. It's a little different, but <laughs> who would be doing that? I think people were doing it. <clears throat> I have heard that. Because, because if you can't digest it, they if blow you're up. Sailors at out at sea would take Alka Seltzer, and if they're stranded at sea, they would throw it up. And the sequel, sequel comes in, snatches it, dies, and then you got some food in your boat. Oh, uh, I thought they were doing it just oh. for entertainment. <clears throat> no, I think that's it's a good. way to. That's good that there's a purpose behind it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So don't do that at the beach. I may have totally made that I up, but I feel like I heard beach, that. Like, oh man, this fish must be giving these seagulls there heartburn. <laughs> yeah. Dead gum it. Guys, you got to climb down a ladder. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. What? Look at the sign. What does it say about alka <laughs> Yeah. No. No alka. How much alka does a man need? <laughs> Let's throw alka at weddings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. I've never heard that at all. You never heard it about the rice or the alka The, the alka Yeah. Enough I've that it was that. like when you walked out to a beach, they were like, just a heads up. Yeah. Oh, the Gizmodo said they will not blow up if they eat Alka-Seltzer. But, but they might knows? die. It sounds like they're encouraging us to go try it. Yeah. Who was bringing all Alka- out of yeah. All out of popcorn. I guess I'll start throwing this Alka-Seltzer. I think the people that need Alka-Seltzer, are, they don't have yeah. the freedom to be wasting it. Like I wouldn't that. be wasting it. Yeah. Uh, this guy said, do not give peanut butter to small birds. <laughs> Man, we're finding out the hard way. They can't eat yeah. a lot of stuff. <laughs> and at the end of it, says, I have not fed peanut butter to small birds. So he writes this thing. And he goes, do not give peanut butter to small birds. They can't swallow it, and it will harm them. I have not fed peanut butter <laughs> yeah, to small yeah, birds. Yeah. For the record. Yeah. I, I don't know from like experience. I know a lot yeah. about this. That's You're just like, coincidence. Okay, guy that probably fed peanut butter to small birds. Like, no one <laughs> says, no one at the end of it goes, by the way, I have not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You shouldn't do it. Listen, I've but, seen this done, yeah. but it did not come from my Because job. I did not do it. Uh, you should ask Greg Warren. Yeah. Mm. To their meat eaters. This guy says, I've eaten seagull once. It was pretty good. We caught a young one which lived outside the city and probably eaten most fish. Hmm. Oh, so there's there's a big debate going on whether you should eat seagulls. I, personally, I don't think you should. But if you're lost at sea. This guy says the eggs of seagulls are pretty good, though. Yeah, check the local laws before <laughs> gathering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you go find these local laws for this stuff? <laughs> yeah. Where do you go? Do you go in the court? You can go to City Hall. And you go, what's the what's the <laughs> filling on the seagull eggs here? Yeah. Got a few seagull go, eggs. Oh. Yeah. Do you just have they a go, seagull section? I just yeah. want to dig into that. Can I go to your seagull section, please? And then you go over and you open a big book. And it's like no alcestor. It doesn't say anything about the eggs. Yeah. And you go, oh. Now what nest is it you have on your front porch? A doves. Oh, dove nest, yeah. They hatched, grown grew up, and flew away. Oh. It's amazing. That's, well, I watched these doves grow up. Mm. They flew away, and the next day I had a baby. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. I hope they don't come back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> me too, I guess. I don't, I don't know why I hope yeah. they don't come back, but the way you've said it, I yeah. Yeah. I'll throw a tennis ball at them. <laughs> Josh Leach. Loot. I deliver for DoorDash. Last Late last year, I delivered Chick-fil-A to Michael Jordan. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. He lives here in South Florida, and he ordered two spicy chicken sandwiches and a waffle fry. The tip was not great, but it was pretty cool to see his house and the golf course that surrounds it. Mm, that's nice. I think the problem is uh, everybody expects Michael Jordan's going to give a huge tip. I don't know what you're going to give. Like, he can't, he can't be like, he's going to give you 100 bucks. But I would... I think it's a... I'd imagine if you're Michael Jordan, you got at least... You need to at least go... To the top, you hit the yeah, top. I think you got to do more than that. Man. I know, but that's like a lot of extra. Like you got to go type in ten dollars or something. Mm-hmm. Or, but I mean, how much you want to give for a? You just give a hundred chicken sandwiches and a waffle fry. So that's probably eleven dollars, fifteen dollars. That's probably thirty dollars total with all the DoorDash fees and stuff. No, yeah, dude, it adds up. So I'm telling you, thirty dollars with no drink, maybe twenty six, twenty seven dollars. And then, so then what do you think he's got to give, 20 bucks? Yeah, if you're Michael Jordan. But is 20 bucks, is someone going to consider 20 bucks great? Like, are they going to be like, well, he's Michael Jordan, you should give me $1,000. Like, you know, it's like. There's I a- guess you're right. I guess it would take a lot for somebody to be like, yeah, it was a, yeah. It was a nice tip yeah, from Josh, Michael Jordan. Yeah. Tell us how much it was. How much was the tip? Well, I think Josh. Tell us where his house no, is. No, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
I think Joe, but Josh is, is saying like it was, you know, it's like it is pretty cool to see it. Like you see the right things that you're like, yeah, the tip might have been great, but like, you know, I delivered to Michael Jordan. Like that's, it's like yeah. the story was worth. You it. tell but that story even, the rest yeah. of your life. Yeah, yeah. But why even include that the tip wasn't great? Because we would have asked. Because everybody's it. gonna yeah. immediately say, "What'd you get?" He's like, "Take me two houses." Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you go what? <laughs> but like you know, I know he's rich, but it's like for the rest of his life, every time he orders food, he's got to tip people a hundred bucks now. Uh, I think a lot. Of, I would. Like some people got. I think you got to tip. Like you could end up being when you're that. No, you have to tip billion more. If you're, uh, you got to tip a hundred percent. I mean, I think Is he a you, billionaire. Yeah, but All it right. could. Uh, you got to tip a uh, hundred percent. Of the whatever your thing yeah. is, there's a point where you like. I think you probably just give out hundreds. Maybe Josh like just, didn't have get, good service. No, Josh. <laughs> I think yeah, the way I read this is Josh mm-hmm. did great. It yeah. could have showed up cold. He well, actually yeah. he asked for three spicy chicken sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. Josh, Josh wrote it. Of course, he's going to act like he did great. I think I'm on Team Josh. I was till Dusty made that point. Now I'm, I'm on Team Jordan. Sir, as a server, you know, I was always honest. When people didn't tip me well, I got to. I would ask myself, was that service good? I don't. Sometimes think, it wasn't. I don't think he's really saying, he's saying the tip was not great. Like he's saying it like, you know, uh, how was the tip? You're like, not great. He was like, whatever. It was yeah. fine. But I got to see his house and stuff. That's pretty cool. Like I, that's how I'm reading it with Josh is like, he's like, he's not mad that he's not tipping. No, I'm joking. He should hand out some of his old shoes or something just out the door. Just, just yeah. <laughs> what I'm reading just is sign these. this yeah. guy had everything and he had an opportunity to give me something and didn't. Oh, I don't read That's it like that. That's how I read, Josh. Uh, no, because no. it would have been way more about the tip. Because yeah. I, because I've, I've worked when I worked waited tables. A girl did that about a Cubs player, and she called in a radio. Like I saw people act like that. Oh yeah, and they ain't acting like they don't sound like Josh. They, it, they sound like he. Can you believe this? Kid? Like they, you know, people that are rooting for the Titanic. But Josh has sat on down, this for a year, know? for a year or so. Well, he, he, six months. He hasn't said it. We we've never talked about DoorDash till last week. Yeah, oh, we okay. talked about famous people oh, we talked about, that have to order yeah. DoorDash. Yeah, yeah. Rich people. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's where it all came from. <clears throat> but uh, who knows? Uh Sarah Taylor. Brian, I was at the that event at the Music City Center. I felt terrible for you. <laughs> they had you go on at the worst possible time. We couldn't hear you at all. We were all chatting with friends we had not seen in a year and all so confused. They should have had you go on during dinner. <laughs> I'm so I'm so sorry. We felt terrible for you. I got three or four comments People about that it. were there. They're, that were there. Hers was the nicest. <laughs> I like I like that she says uh, I felt terrible for you, and then she said we were all chatting with friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like not they were, yeah. we were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's like the, it's a tough situation where they go, they haven't seen them in a year, and they're <clears> like, "Oh, I can't wait to catch up with you," and all this, and then they do the show. Like the, even the same lady should have you go on during dinner. You don't even want to go on during dinner, but that would have been better than. In this rare case, it would have. Yeah, it really hurt that they had no idea that there was going to be entertainment, uh-huh. and they're just confused. One person said they said, "Was that a youth pastor up there giving a testimony?" <laughs> yeah, they just didn't know what it was. Wow. Youth. Uh, <laughs> the senior, <laughs> youth pastor. The senior pastor <laughs> going up there. The youth pastor. What does it? mean i'm a youth it just means that's who i oversee i still don't think, yeah. think you're well you're youth? giving me a compliment then huh you're, you're paying me a compliment by calling me the senior pastor i'm saying however you, you want to spin it yeah <laughs> i yeah. think he's just calling you old i don't man. think you're in charge i think you talk to the seniors uh <laughs> oh the, yeah i think they willed your group out of the main church and now they they're in another church i think as a youth pastor i don't know if they're gonna have someone that you know their well, their grandfather. I mean, I missed this though. What can, is there? A, is there a way to tell me what happened? I did a show at the Music City Center, corporate, yeah. and they wanted to recreate a night at the Opry. Okay, so they had a country music singer. So they go- didn't do it. <laughs> no, <laughs> I showed a video last so this, week. It was a Wednesday night at the <laughs> yeah, Opry. Yeah, I showed a video last week. <laughs> uh, the tables were so far back, and then there's yeah. a giant dancing uh, a floor <laughs> in the middle for them to dance on and, oh, yeah. and it was just a terrible setup. And it, apparently everyone said they could not hear me at all, which wow. it, I didn't know that was an issue. The worst part about those gigs is like when people in the audience actually think that there was a chance that you could do well in that setting where they're like, what happened? And it's like, this was not set up mm-hmm. for comedy. All the comments I've seen from this, it's like they didn't, it's like they were hanging out and they look up and they're like, is that Brian Bates up there talking? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. It's like they weren't even told 
hey, there's a show starting. This video is from the stage? Yeah, I took yeah. that during sound check. That's how far, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. I've done and better. you could have taken the same video during the show. <laughs> I, I'm doing, yeah. 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 I've done better bar shows than this. I mean, that is unreal. It is funny when you have to do a show and, there's, and they're so far away from you. Yeah. That is always like kind of crazy. crazy. This looks like a casino in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. There's a dance floor in between you and the audience. This could be one where you go up there and you're like, I'm going to sit down. So you, like, I, I'm not a pro sit down comic, like unless you're, but like this one, you could be like, if you don't want to walk out to the thing, you could be like, I'm going to sit down because it's at least demanding something, I guess <laughs> I kind of feel like. So you could maybe sit down and at least just be like, just sit down and, and just Maybe just eat talk. a meal. Yeah. And demand like from them. There on stage. Yeah. yeah, like you're sitting down on a stool, and I think that's like, I don't know. I'm just I'm just trying to throw out like an yeah. idea, like what you you're just trying to eat. How long were you up there? Twenty minutes. Yeah, that was a long twenty minutes. It was. Yeah, it was a very long twenty minutes. You had done two hours worth of material in that twenty minutes. I know, and I, I said this last week when you do an. I don't have many act outs, but when you do an act out or a voice or anything yeah. and nobody's listening, yeah. it's really awkward. Oh, yeah. Ryan's <laughs> on the floor for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Doing John Chris material. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Rolling around. <laughs> Just yelling. Hey. No. I, uh, before yeah. we do that, I uh, considered joining Rocket Money. That's how bad I needed to. Oh, did you really? Yeah. It was that stressful? I had to make some cuts. Well, I say, listen, you know, rising prices are stressing me out. Too. Yeah. I mean, aren't they mm. stressing everybody out? If you're looking for ways to cut costs, I recommend Rocket Money. You could be wasting money and not even realizing it. I talk about it all the time. I sign up for stuff and I forget. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you're not combing through your credit card statement every every month. Rocket Money will do that for you. It's a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. They also help you manage your finances in one place and automatically categorize your expenses so you can track your budget in real time and get alerted if anything looks off. If there's a, a, an unusually large transaction made you'll get an alert you know they keep an eye on it for you over three million people have used rocket money saving the average person up to 720 dollars a year stop throwing your money away mm. cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash nate that's rocketmoney.com slash nate one more time for everybody rocketmoney.com slash nate boom uh, big fan of them. You know, one thing I was going to say uh, about the the member guest tournament, there was one, uh, supposedly there was, I just heard someone say this, there's an older dude there. And so he's watching. Like, you know, no one has to be out there. Like, it's like, it's not like it's a requirement. Uh -huh. And this old guy, like, <laughs> I just like, there's an, when you get old, like there's a level, just a guy, he's like, all right. He's like, let's, let's speed it up. And you're like, what? You don't have to be here. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. you're not. He's not playing in it. He's not doing it. It's such a funny, like if you went to a movie and just said, all right, let's wrap let's it up. Wrap and it you up. go, yeah. what? Yeah. You're not, yeah, yeah, the movie's just, I like that level of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just, like we're enjoying ourselves. Yeah. If you're not, you can get out. All right. How long is this going to go? <laughs> what? Go home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, I need everything to be done. Uh, Daryl, if Dusty lived in Australia, he could not name his son Duke, as we are banning we are banned from naming our children after royal titles. So no Duke, Duchess, Prince, Princess, Queen, or King. However, I worked with a woman born in another country whose legal name is Queenie, but who went by Queen for short. And the name King Kingsley is legal. And you can drop the sleigh and call yourself King. Why would you drop the sleigh though? You know, what King I mean? Slay. Um, well, yeah. Well, that's why I that I like Duke, right? Because it is like a royal kind of name. And then his middle name is Richard, right? That's my middle name. So Duke and then Richard is also like a, you know, an old British king. So it's like Duke Richard. I thought it would be great, but thanks. You could to, probably still switch it up. He's not probably is he coming to a name yet? Uh, well, not yet. No. Yeah. Uh, like a, but, that was a, a joke. Like yeah. a dog. <laughs> Sam, come on in. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, and he goes, right now he's still. Yeah, yeah. he's just not responding. Yeah, yeah. take it to it. Because yeah. so we, we have some wiggle room yeah. here. 
But uh, but you know we have like John Wayne was called the Duke and uh, Dukes of Hazard, so Duke has taken on more uh, a different tone. Mm-hmm. Now, I know? like Sam a lot. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Yeah. Well, this week we're talking about names, mm. the history of names, and how they originated. And uh, United States is one of the most lax as far as laws on names. But even in the United States, you there's some names you can't give your children, and king and queen are two of them. Oh, is that really? Right? Oh, wow. Um, if you scroll down just a little bit, there's some legal baby names in the U.S. Um, Santa Claus. Yep. At. The yep. at yep. sign. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize. Oh, yeah. I didn't. Yeah, there's some, uh, some uh, bad words on this list, too. Yeah. Um, but the United States is one of the most lax ones. You some, can't name your son yeah. three? You can't name your I, 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 You can probably name it T-H-R-E-E. Different states have different rules. Most states, you can't name your child a number. In Illinois, you can name your child seven. Oh, Seinfeld? I, Seinfeld? I think so. Yeah. 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 That's fun. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can do it the numeral, but you can write it out. S-E-V-E-N. So you can't name your kid in some states. You can't name your kid Jesus Christ, but you can name your kid Jesus. You just can't have Christ in there. I yeah. guess so. Oh, interesting. Yeah. 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 Jesus Christ. Yeah. So yeah, that's a it's kind of the it's a big part of it. Yeah, it is for Jesus. <laughs> that last thing. Yeah, the last part's yeah crucial. What about Jesus Christopher. I guess you could Christ for sure. You could work around your last it. Last name's yeah. Um, you're throwing a lot on that kid. Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. So different countries have different rules. In Sweden, you can't call your child Metallica. Um, <laughs> And, but, I mean, there has to be these, like, where they go, there was enough people that they go, all right. Yeah, I'll get into more into some of the, some crazy rules. So names originated, according to anthropologists, this isn't isn't the biblical account, but according to anthropologists, about 10 to 12,000 years ago, there started being enough people in the world where farming started taking off and you had different people doing different roles. So you had to call them by something. Like if you're the picker or what, you know, you had to give them a name and up, up until then, there was no social need for a name up until this, they're saying, uh, according to this, yeah, <laughs> maybe you went, what do you need a name? You just go, how you doing? Hey, that guy over there needs to like, you would be in a town, but there were never groups where you would need to differentiate people. You mean like a no, last yeah. name or a first name? First name. Oh, see, I would think oh, you they have, have a last to have name? a first name. We'll get into too. that. Oh, that you have to have later. a first name to have a last name. But I otherwise, mean, it's just a first name. Right, but I mean, <laughs> you know just what I mean? To, well, of course, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Slay. But you gotta like differentiate people from it. Everybody can't be like, "Hey, dude, guy, buddy, mm-hmm. man." That's what everybody does partner. Yeah, but if you but you would have names. They had names like the kings and stuff. They have names forever. Yeah, but I mean, ten to twelve thousand years ago, that's that's a oh, long time no ago. People. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There were no people back then. Yeah, yeah. So in the United States, at one time, the majority of names were biblical, and has gradually decreased over time. Now it's the lowest. The only baby name now for a boy that's popular that's biblical is Noah. Noah is one of the most popular yeah. baby names. But I mean, look at this table. Half of us are biblical. Yeah. Nathaniel, that's Nathaniel, biblical. Yeah. I don't know if you knew that. And yeah. Aaron. Aaron. And yeah. Brian, right? Is Brian a biblical name? No. So. There's no. no Brian in the Bible, dude. Can you <laughs> yeah. imagine? It, we wouldn't be where we're at if, they, if Jesus had to go, what's your name? Brian? <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> Jesus meeting Brian? Is that one syllable uh, or two? Brian, Brian the apostle. Brian? Brian, Brian or he Brian? Goes, Brian? Your name's Brian? Yeah, from Lebanon. Dude, Brian how Bates. would the book of Brian, <laughs> if it was in the Bible, just to be a book uh, maybe just about complaining <laughs> and just about like how hot it is <laughs> and just, you know, a Brian. Mm. Yeah, that would be funny. Yeah. Probably yeah. wouldn't have made the final cut. Uh-huh. It'd be one of those hidden gospels. Yeah, yeah. when was the first Brian? Being there with Enoch. Well, most names it's like that, a stock name they just like you know most names that we use now that came from Europe was during the Middle Ages. Mm-hmm. So you know, where'd your name come from? Well, I was about to get get oh. there. So let me just go over. Nate 
is uh, it's a biblical name. Nathaniel is one of the Jesus' 12 apostles. They think he's the same person as Bartholomew, a name you can't even say. Bartholomew. <laughs> I can't say it. It means Come God on. is given or gift of God, which I feel bad because all these years when you were telling me how you were God's gift of comedy, <laughs> I didn't know you were saying that that was based on <laughs> the Bible. So I feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, church tradition says Nathaniel carried a translation of Matthew's gospel to northern India. And he was crucified upside down in Albania. So uh, brutal. Did it's not tough. end well. It's a tough end. Mm-hmm. Upside down. It's just a just a yeah. little extra. Unfair. It really hurts. Yeah. yeah. Aaron could ask for it so he doesn't be like Jesus. Is that what a lot of them did? That's what Peter did. Right? Peter did yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Aaron was Moses' brother. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. I did know that. Spoke for Moses. Moses he had did. a speech yeah. impediment. Yeah. yeah. Moses wasn't a good speaker, so he asked God to and he gave him his brother Aaron to do the mm-hmm. talking. Mm-hmm. So it makes sense. It means exalted or strong. Guy that talks for others. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your name means. Yeah. It means exalted or strong. It can also mean teacher or mountain of strength. I'll talk there to him. He goes, I'll talk I, to I got him. it. Yeah. He goes, they don't. He goes, they don't know the words. You're going to bust you. Yeah. Uh, Wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow. <laughs> Barrow. Yeah. That is, <laughs> can you pass me the wheelbarrow? He goes, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, and there are the people are like, I don't even know what to give them. They yeah. don't even know. <laughs> Barrow. He goes, these people. He goes, I'm Moses' brother. <laughs> he goes, obviously. He's over here. Moses can't get it out. You know, he's like, he's just like, <laughs> dang, dang, dang. And he goes, Moses. And he goes, hey, how you doing, Aaron? Uh, can we get a wheelbarrow? Barrow. <laughs> I don't know how to even say it. Burrow. <laughs> Barrow. Barrow. Dusty means brave warrior. Wow. God. First became popular in the 1970s. Dusty Springfield. A singer. Well, I had new no name. idea. I assumed that Dusty had no had no meaning, but uh, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, but it was a name for girls. Mm. Dusty Springfield was a woman, and oh. people started naming their daughters Dusty in the seventies. Adam Levine named his daughter Dusty in twenty sixteen. Well, goes either way. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's why you have the long hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then Brian means debonair or charming. <laughs> no, it does. <laughs> There's, does it really or no? No. no. <laughs> debonair. Brian, does, uh, the def, uh, the, let me guess what Brian means. Does it mean Brian? <laughs> <laughs> just, There's no a, meaning. There's no meaning. You go, what's the, where's the word Brian come it's from? Just, it comes from Brian. It just says, you know yeah. him when you see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just know a Brian. <laughs> it means, it's an Irish name, means high or noble. Has two syllables, so answers that question. Mm-hmm. That's always been confusing to me. Yeah. Well, we talked about it on here. Yeah, I know. Did uh, is it is any name mean anything bad? Like everybody's name is always like it, high and noble, like or it's all these things. If it is, I think it's just because of a story, like in the Bible, like mm-hmm. Pilate or or oh yeah. The surname Brian can also sometimes be a French surname, which der- is derived from the old Occitan word meaning maggot. Oh, no. All right, That's Aaron. not good. <laughs> That's not good. No need to look that up. They go, but don't worry. It's only if it's spelled B-R-A-N. <laughs> well, like, I was going to say, it says there's more B-R-Y-A-Ns in the U.S. than B-R-I-N. Interesting. Oh, there you oh. go. You got some uh, some stick out. Yep. Uh, Pilot's a that's, – that's tough, because that, that's a good name. That would have been a good name. Yeah. I bet Pilot would be popular. You don't know about any Pilot's. I don't know a single one. Yeah. Mm-mm. Of a human being named Pilot? Mm-hmm. No, I've, I've never heard yeah. of that. Yeah. Um, Didn't you say Pilot? No, I did. Yeah. Pilot from the P-I-L-A-T-E. Yeah. Oh, Pontius. Yeah. Pontius. But they do usually call him Pilot. You call him Pilot. You're some first name basis. Yeah, I call him yeah. P- Ponte. <laughs> Pontius. The P-Man. Pilot. <laughs> P-Dog. Yeah, Pontius was like, that sounds like it's backwards. Yeah. Pilot, I guess that could be a good first name. Pilot? Yeah. If you have a boy. You Pilot know. Bates. Yeah. yeah. Pilot Slay? Yeah. That would be good. Any name but Slay sounds good. Yeah, I, I mean, agree. It does. I agree. So uh, junior and senior, there's an etiquette to when you're supposed to use that or the second or the third, things oh, like okay. that. Uh, if, if, if your name is identical, first, middle, last name, then you're supposed to do junior. Oh, okay. If it's a little different, or if you're named after your grandfather or uncle, then you're supposed to do the second or the third. If you're not the direct next one in line. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you can skip it and then pick it back up? Yeah. If you were named after your grandfather, you'd still be the second. 
But you're not junior. And your dad. Correct. Your dad could be whatever. Yeah. And then. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. That feels weird. It does. I now, like that, Like, if though. you did that. I know, but it feels like, I mean, you just took over the, like, the the grandfather knew. Yeah, you skipped the dad. But I don't know if this is true. So, my, my brother's the fourth. My dad's the third. But it's, I, somebody said at one point, when so it's, it's a function of who's living at the moment. Mm. So, if, like, the first two die, then my brother's now the second and my dad's the first. Really? Yeah. For legally. Like, my brother's a junior now, technically. Yeah, I don't like is that. that. Is that true? I don't like that because, it, 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 you know, as you build it up, it seems like now we've come from a long line, but each time they die, we, we're like back to square <laughs> yeah, one. I've never heard I that. I don't like that. Oh, well, who knows? That's just somebody said that to us yeah. once. Well, Aaron and them throw tennis balls at each other, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I take it all with a grain of salt, you know? <laughs> Now, I don't know if he's legally like Barack Obama's dad was Barack Hussein Obama. Uh-huh. So, te- so Barack Obama should have been junior, but instead he was the second. Most people don't even know that, but he was. Oh, I didn't his, know. He was Barack Hussein Obama the second, but it should have been junior. Um, and back when kids often died in birth, a lot of parents renamed their second child same name. So Just run it back. They yeah. did. Salvador Dali. Had a brother who died named Salvador. Salvador mm-hmm. Beethoven had a brother, Ludwin Van Gogh. That's when you oh, just well. love the name. You're like, no, yeah. no, we're, right. this name sticks. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. At what point do you go? Let's try a different name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe the not, third time. Yeah. <laughs> Second time worked really well for these. And yeah, George, it worked. Un, I mean, it worked yeah. unbelievable. And George Foreman just doesn't care. He mixes all up. He has five sons named George. Wow. Yeah. George Junior. George the Six. Did you know that? No. That's all, crazy. All his kids are named boys are named George. How does he identify them? Do you know? I think about sounds. <laughs> he says it a little differently for each one. No, he goes like Beep. <laughs> one comes to that. The other one, <laughs> and the other, that's like the second one. That's he calls them. Yeah. I mean, I think he calls them like George Jr. is the first and the third. I don't know. I think he just mm-hmm. does whatever. Uh Native Americans wait and see the child. And then something maybe that happened to them uh, is how they earned their name. And their names change over That's time. That's what I wanted to do. Change it? I wanted to give it some time. Yeah. See what it looks you could like. have. I did wait yeah. a little bit. I waited till it was born. So and often. Like, looks like a Sam. It's the first <laughs> thing the mother sees yeah. after the child's born. Okay. That's how they have their first name. But then if they do something, accomplish something in life, it can change the name. So the name Dancing Wind sounds beautiful, but that really means, uh, it's an image of a tornado, means they're volatile or have an angry disposition. Oh, oh. wow. And you'd so you don't be, mess with a dancing wind. Yeah, and you think you'd be like, oh, brought home a dance. Imagine a girl's name. I don't know. But uh, you go, meet my girlfriend, Dancing Wind. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like, you better Very get up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, You go, just a guy, like yeah. a guy that's not Native American has no idea. Yeah. A Brian. The red flags are uh, in a the A Brian name. brings home. A dancing uh, her wind. name's Dancing Wind. She's real fun. And you're like, she's about to rip this yeah. house apart, <laughs> dude. The name Bear is common in Native Americans like John is for us. But if you're named Wounded Bear, that means you're suffering. You've got something going on in your life. That you're and like, wounded. Yeah, but they, they, would they call yeah, you like just Bear? Physical, not necessarily physical. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of them had Wounded Bear or... I can't think of another example. Yeah. I guess... I don't know if it was just Bear. bear. It'd also be in a different language that would... Well, that's true. Sound better than being mm-hmm. like wounded, wounded, wounded mm-hmm. bear. Yeah. But they, their tradition is inspire individuals to strive to be better, or to heal, or to evolve, and okay. then you earn a more prestigious name. Oh, uh, so then I, you I like change that. it to like you know, hill bear, or big or bear, or big or bear, mountain bear, yeah, cor- yeah. brave yeah. bear, dancing bear. So like some of these names from these famous names, sitting bull, that actually means slow. Mm. He um, was slow, and he never made it. Past that, I guess not. That guy was like the real deal, right? Well, he was famous for, I guess, a, a fight with with uh, American settlers. Yeah. Um, the Battle of Little Bighorn. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. a big fight. Yeah. Uh, Standing Rock. That's where he died. Eighteen ninety. Well, Sitting Bull died at Standing Rock. That's how about that. Geronimo means the one who yawns. I wonder if he was like, <laughs> it does. Yeah. I wonder if he was like, I don't like this. They go, where are we fighting? He goes, Standing Rock. He goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> he 
He goes, my name is Sitting Bull. Why would we go, just go to something else? He goes, I don't like, they go, what? It's just where the fight's going to be. Standing Rock. He goes, I know, but it's like so close. All right. All right. He goes, I'll get over. I'll be over there in a couple of days. Slow. He goes, yeah, yeah. He goes all right. <laughs> he's all, every time you talk to him, it's like he's getting up. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'll get to it. Yeah, I'm coming. And then uh, in around the Middle Ages, this is when surnames became a thing. Do you know what surname is? Uh, your first name? Last name. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Very close. Yeah. There became so many people that they had to start giving you a second name because there were too many Johns or whatever. So last names are basically based off of f- four groups. Either your father, where you live, your occupation, or a nickname. So I'll give an example of each. Do you know some? Your, some. F- your father, John's son. That's a very popular. Oh, Johnson. You yeah. would be John's son or Robinson or Richardson. Or in your case, you would be Nate Stevenson. Oh, yeah. So Anderson, there's we get it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mac, if the Mac's in front of it, like McDonald or McGregor, Mac means son of. Fitz means son of. So Fitzgerald, Fitzsimmons, that means you were the son of those people. O means, like O'Neill, O'Brien means grandson of. And occasionally a woman. Madison means... Uh, Maddie's son. Maddie's son, yeah. But it's wow. but like they they do that to be like we gotta we got to meet Johns. All right, John Johnson. Let's go. What's next? You're John. You're John's son too. <laughs> yeah, John Johnson. <laughs> yeah. And then they just give everybody the exact same names again. Yeah, and eventually, I mean, because that would just keep ch- your last name would be changing every time. Eventually, they just like no, we just got to come up with a name, last name, and keep it mm-hmm. for tax purposes and things like that. Imagine picking your own last name. Like when does you know? But it changes over time. Like our name is spelled with a P at one point. P A A R G. Is Pargetzi? Yeah. Pargetzi, I think. Z I. It's been spelled a few different ways. Okay. And you just stuck with this one. I mean, that's one we're at now. So it could change, though. Could change. Harper could take it a different direction. She could do her own thing. Well, I mean, she's, but I mean, she gets married, then she won't have the name. She'll keep it. She'll keep her. Yeah, her it'll be up it. to her. I'm gonna have her keep it. By then, it might be keep. Might be doing that. Mm-hmm. That'd be nice. I mean, she changed my name to Bob Ripple Pants. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, location last names would be like Underwood, Hill, or sometimes just the town. Like your your last name's York, just where you live. Yeah. That sounds like a way to insult people. Mm-hmm. That's Brian Underbridge over there. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh. Maybe that's that family. I other can, side of the Tim, other side of the track. <laughs> over there, and you go, what? That's a weird last name. Uh, occupation last names would be like Baker. Smith. Uh, Smith it's is the, be most, the biggest one, right? Smith is the biggest one. So if you're a blacksmith, blacksmith, ironsmith, there's a lot of Smiths back then. Yeah. If you're any Smith, you know, that's where that came from. Miller, farmer, shepherd, shoemaker. Wow. Oh. Well. Oh, that one's pretty on the nose, huh? Yeah. What do you do? <laughs> it's in the name, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> you're not you're not good enough to be a cobbler. They just call yeah. you a shoemaker. I'm a maker of shoes. Yeah. He's a joke maker. And joke then maker. nicknames is a des- description of that person. So long, short, Martin Short, Rich Little, Little, Stern, if you were Stern, Howard Stern, Do Little. <laughs> It's not a good one, but we know do little. Or if you're black, white, uh, green, blue, those are some description of you. Oh, okay. Usually your hair color, not your skin color. Okay. But obviously green or blue might be your eye color. So if your last name's that, it's because somebody in your ancestors, there were two Johns, and one mm. of them was John Black, and one of them was John you White. You think red would be a more common name then? Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know if I – is there a blue – is the last name Blue? I know my some, cousin. Josh Blue. I got a cousin Josh that Blue. named Oh, yeah. Girl, uh, yeah, married a guy. Last Vida Blue. Blue was a baseball player. Uh, yeah. Rest in peace. There's uh, who is there's Green? Uh, Green's a common yeah. name. Yeah. Seth Green. Mo Green. Uh, yeah. And then let's yeah, see. Yeah, uh, Mean Joe Green. Yeah. There is, is there a red or no? Well, I, I don't know. No one had probably red. no one had an eye color red. But yeah, yeah but why, people had hair color red, right? Mm, yeah. Maroon. I know some reds, but it was with two Ds. 
Oh, oh Chris yeah. Red. yeah, Chris Red. Red. Yeah. Red. Yeah. Sure, that's true. Red. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Uh, gold too is that probably where gold comes from? Golden, I guess so. Maybe the hair color, or maybe they're yeah. Very yeah. healthy. Uh, well, and then orange. <laughs> no, no, it oranges. wasn't until recently that orange and red were different colors. <laughs> I think I think did we what? talk about this on the podcast once? I don't remember uh, this. This is why, because I wondered why people with orange hair were called redheads. Uh, so it wasn't until recently that we had different terms for red and orange. They were just kind of all lumped into yeah. one color. Mm, okay. And then the fruit was actually named first, orange. And then they started calling that color orange. Wow. Said it, but it was all lumped into red. So we were already down the name path probably before orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really came around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Purple. Now there are some bib- violet. There's some biblical characters that that meet all these descriptions, at least in the New Testament. Jesus was often called Jesus of Nazareth, because Jesus was a very common name in his time. Mary Yeshua, Ma- right? Joshua. Wasn't that yeah. his name? Yeshua. Yeah. yeah. Mary Magdalene. There's a Ton of Marys in the Bible. Mary Magdalene, that's where she lived. Judas Iscariot, that's he lived there. And then there was Simon the leper <laughs> and Simon the tanner. <laughs> one's a job, one's a condition. <laughs> yeah. That's a bad name to stick with, Simon uh, the leper. Yeah. leper. But you're like, you get over leprosy, like you get cured. You're still just yeah. called the leper. Yeah, I mean, he's in the Bible forever. Jesus uh-huh. went to his house yeah. and hung out with Simon the leper. <laughs> John the Baptist, he baptized people. So that's... Way to distinguish the difference. Let's go, uh, Brian Authoritis. <laughs> <laughs> Brian the Authoriter. <laughs> yeah. Um, the jerk store called Nate. Yeah, and they're running out of you. <laughs> yeah. So I looked at our names. I would have made fun of myself there, but I actually have a joke. Uh, so I had to switch it over to you. Mm. I would have. That's the reason myself, for the but... 154 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that specific one was. Yeah. I have a new you idea. You have a bit in your act about it, yeah. Yeah, but it's not, it wouldn't have been, it's not that. It's it's somewhat, and uh, I just couldn't make it about me because I got to protect the act. So took care, you know, just went closest. So I looked at our names and kind of where they originated from, although you've already shot yours down if it was originally a P. No, I don't know. You, you can... I mean, they're all variations because most names you think of didn't, you couldn't see how they would fit any of those and Bates, I still don't really know. <laughs> but um, a weaver is another popular last name based on occupation, if you were a mm-hmm. weaver back at the time. But in German, they called it Weber. Right. Mm. And we talked about this a few episodes ago, how it changed. But um, you, your ancestors were probably weavers of Basket some sort. Basket weavers, yeah, mm. dude. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Making a few wheelbarrows, maybe. Out of, oh, uh, that's why maybe you say it. Yeah. Yeah, because you would you have to. It's a family weave, trait. Yeah. yeah. They had basket yeah. type yeah. wheelbarrows back yeah. in the day. I mean, you saw that basket with the tennis balls. Yes, I yeah. did. Yeah. Very we, good we, basket. Weird. That's what we do. This is what you, you like weaving. It's what the Webbers do. Yeah. That's cool. We put baskets together. Mm hmm. And then sleigh was an implement used in weaving. To push the thread through. Well, look well, at that. So your ancestors probably worked with. He used to work for, work me. for <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't. We'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. You know, if also they... slay means to kill. So we probably got frustrated with uh, the weavers <laughs> once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why you split up. Yeah, with and only you tennis went, balls at you. You went down the. You know, it's, yeah. it's if you look at where you're both at now. The... It's like perfect sense where it goes. Your family went down to questioning a lot of things. Yeah. Not trusting the kingdom that you were under, and yeah, and then your family bought into it, and uh, what's the end of Notre Dame? So yeah, big uh, business. You're you're both. It makes complete sense. Yeah, yeah. That when you look now to go, yeah, you're barely hanging on and obviously thriving. Yeah, <laughs> you know that's how I would see. It. You have copper under the ground. Yeah, and, uh, obviously. Yeah, uh, the he flew a helicopter here today. The uh, the old spellings that I've seen as they go back into England, they would spell it S L E I G H. Yeah, as you go back, like a sleigh, oh, yeah. like uh, yeah, yeah, like Santa Claus. Yeah, and you couldn't name your kid Santa Claus; it's illegal. And maybe the sleigh was made out of uh, basket weaving material. I wonder. So maybe. you sleigh because maybe you do come from money, and then. You know, somewhere along the line, it went another route. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and then once y'all maybe ended the up, the Webbers and the Slaves were partners. 
there's a chance, you know. And I so, mean, and your, yours was spelled S L E I G H, like yeah. a sleigh, which I would be like, wow, that's something that's fancy. Yeah. So the sleigh family goes, something goes wrong, probably with the probably Weber, with the Weaver family, the Weber family, probably like something they happens. Probably shorted us. Sleighs some money go, here. yeah. Sleighs go down a path, end up kind of trailers, <laughs> and they go. And that then makes when sense. Then when you're yeah, in the I trailer, like you go, well, I we like can't that. be. You look ridiculous. To be like, you know, the president's probably named Slay with E I G, and you're yeah, like, we yeah. gotta, we look stupid, so they go, let's just say A Y, mm -hmm. yeah. And then the band Slayer was out, so you saw that. I imagine <laughs> yeah. this is around that time, yeah. This and is then, like the 80s, yeah. <laughs> and then you go A Y, and then here we are now. But now we're on the grind. We are the yeah. Slay family is right. You're headed back up. You're it's still writing your family story. No, it's going back up, but you're not gonna know about it. It's gonna be off the grid. He goes, that's where they made the mistake. Was they got. You know, you let the we pulled into the mainstream. Well, until you posted your, your address mainstream. for all the world. Yeah. So. Well, that's just a you know, that's that's to, the that's the, a little that's a hiccup. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, that's not a, the real address. That's yeah. that's where we spend some time. Oh yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. They don't know where we we're don't at. live. They don't. There. Yeah, yeah. spend some time. Yeah, there. I like it. Building back up. And then Bargatze is, is a, a location name, meaning by the town gate or the keeper of the bar gate. I did know that the gatekeeper. Yeah. The gate? Am I I'm the gatekeeper? Yeah, or I'm not sure what a bar gate is, but maybe they had a gate to go to the bar. And a bouncer. You keep it. Yeah, you're, you're a bouncer. Yeah, I stand in there and they go, you're not allowed in. I like that. <laughs> like a defensive man. Like a defensive man. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. am. Yeah. Yeah, so I was a defensive man. Yeah. I should, this trophy should be named after me. Uh, yeah, you're like, That's in the fact, spin. my yeah. family is known for defending That's one of things. our main things was yeah. just going, you're not allowed in the town. Yeah. Who's the bar gate? Is a guy, what was it? The bar gate and the keeper of the gate, keeper of the gate, yeah, yeah. keeper of the bar gate, or, yeah. or someone who lived by the town gate, yeah. I was just right there by the town <laughs> could gate, could have just been a poor beggar, just a homeless guy outside of a bar, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I might, yeah, yeah. I'd imagine the uh, the nice houses weren't by the gate. Of I think the town. about Frank Costanza when he went to yeah. Tuscany, yeah, he was an eccentric fellow, yeah. Some people call him the village idiot, yeah, and you're like, I still think we're related, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been giving like I mean every doorbell knock on the gate to go. Oh, I got it. My family's got to get up. Hello, and we got to meet them. Yeah. Well, what about Bates? Bates was the hardest one uh, to find really any origination from. Uh, one thing I said, Red said it originated from the name Bartholomew. So, same, so same as yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I really couldn't find much. My name was just boring top to bottom. Now, do you know anything about your family history going back a long time? I mean, I know Bates originated from Ireland and Scotland. Okay. But beyond that. Did anyone in your family have an identity with like being Irish or Scottish? No. Or, you didn't care about it at all? Nate's joked that my family's lived in Lebanon <laughs> since the beginning. <laughs> yeah. And Before <laughs> Lebanon was made, dude. He was born. Wherever wherever his family started was Lebanon. I did Ancestry.com. Yeah. It just stayed in Lebanon the whole yeah. time. <laughs> it never, you know. It never goes off. Every now and again, it gets on the one side of 109, then it goes yeah. right back to the other side. West Wilson County yeah, yeah, yeah. for supplies. They go, oh, we got a little movement here. Yeah. We got a guy. You're near the Davis County border. No, popped here. up in goes, Dixon for yeah. a couple of days. Whoa. He goes, what I happened mean, here? Even I started in Donaldson and just kind of worked my way west. Did my toe in Davidson County. Yeah. So in Iceland, uh, they don't really have traditional last names. If you're... Uh, if you have a boy, it's going to be your dad's first name with son on the end. If it's a girl, it's going to be your dad's first name with daughter on the end. D O T T I R. Daughter. So, so everyone's last name ends in son or daughter. Oh, and their, like their dad's Jergen first name. Son. Yeah. Wow. Jurgen Dorter. Yeah. Well, what are some examples of those names though with the daughter name? We're all familiar with son. Bill Tom Daughter. Well, like the <laughs> yeah. example. Uh, they gave this guy's name's Egil. That's his, and he named his daughter Helga. So her name's Helga Egil Doctor. <laughs> Helga Egil Doctor. That's just an example. They got a good. That's a, what's that's a famous. Fun. That's fun. Isn't there a famous singer from Iceland? Bjork. Bjork. Yeah. Bjork. See what Bjork her last or... real last name is. Right, oh, well. it's a girl. I think, uh, I think it's uh, yeah. Oh, looks like a girl. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, Guansen Doctor. Oh, geez. 
Yeah. Well. Okay. We really lost it. It's well, right. we it got was a like, it was uh, like uh, yeah, Bjork. Bjork. Yeah, yeah. yeah Wompson. Is that where you go read the name? There, you don't yeah. look at the very top. Well, you look at just the breakdown on the right. Okay, but you didn't when you go to Wikipedia. The name in bold. The name in bold at the top. I think I kind of lost it in the shuffle. There's a lot going on in that first sentence. But it's dark. It's very dark. It's bolded. It's yeah. It's bolded. <laughs> yeah. It's so dark. I thought we were <laughs> looking there. You could go to that. And My instinct to, is to yeah. just let's cut to the chase. Let's hop over to the right. That's got a breakdown of all the important information. It's got yeah, but date of birth. We're just doing her name. And you yeah, but her, I thought yeah. we might. We're gonna riff on it a little bit, right? I think we might. We might, but I think we. When we said the name, I mean, this first sentence on here, this looks like how normal sentences look to you. I think, just, <laughs> yes. just a just mess. A mess. <laughs> yeah. Different, different symbols. They do B J three, and you're like, well, what's that? <laughs> well, you threw a number in there. Uh, there is a three in there. <laughs> there is. Yeah. Why would you put a three in? But her, her last name is Guomond Sadater. That's pretty cool. I yeah. didn't know that. So yeah. you already know who her dad is. Guamond. Yeah. And she's, uh, yeah, spouse is Eldon, but then also uh, seems like she was with uh, Matthew Barney for a while. <laughs> and so <laughs> that's, uh, that's tough. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, this is my uh, wife, Bjork. And his dad is Gunner. Yeah. Gunderson. Wow. Is, yeah, dad's name is Guamondor Gunnarsson. Gunnarsson. But his name yeah, is Gunner. Gunner Dorcher. He was a leader of the Icelandic Electricians Union. All right. Mm. Oh, wow. Her grandfather's name is Gunner. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, we can just keep going. You can just go all the way back. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. So in Iceland, they have a naming committee. You can't just name your child whatever. You got to go through this naming committee. So, uh, That's a lot of stuff to keep track of, man. Look at this word. Look at that. Uh, what, is, what is going on with that, dude? Shafstan <laughs> Dikokokorin. It's the weird A-E letter there. It's, they just start mushing letters together because yeah. the words are too long. Got a little yeah. O with a cross on it at the top. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen that in my life. They go, push these A's and E's in. Yeah. yeah. This word's getting a little it's long. S-J-A-L-F. But it's not just an A. It's an A with an accent on it. Oh. a u. Uh, S J A O. What happens when you click on that? A uh, F. I'm scared to. Yeah, it's probably a virus. Oh, it's an independent. It's, it's party. the Independence Party in mm-hmm. in Iceland. Mm-hmm. And they're like, "Why are we not taking off?" You're like, "I got an idea. Uh, <laughs> maybe because we got a niner in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> the name is wild. Yeah. Crazy language." In Iceland, you can't name your child something with the letter C because there is no C in their alphabet. Oh. Hmm. That's why they have to spell these words so crazily because they're trying to get around not using a C. Even though they're called Iceland, but they spell it like we do island. Oh. oh they put an and S that, in there. Yeah. But do you so want to East, just go, Eastland. Do you just go, just put the C, you know, you know what we're doing. <laughs> so is there but not, I guess it's their thing. There's not a lot of ice it. there either, is there? No, it's beautiful. Uh yeah, it was like Greenland is like a lot of ice. Yeah, yeah. Ice I always heard like, that. But I always heard, yeah, I just heard that. That could not be true. Um, so they have the. I've been to Greenland. There was a lot. Of, it was dark the whole time. Yeah, not a lot of green. It was all ice, but it was it was completely dark because yeah. it was the whole time I was there, twenty four hours. Wow, couldn't see anything. You walked around. You had to watch out for polar bears because they're just walk around at night. Wow. Mm-hmm. Did you do shows there? Mm-hmm. How'd they go? Uh, it was good. It was like a base up there. Okay. And then uh, it's a very important base. Like they're they're your first line of defense of like if there's a, a nuclear attack or something like that. Like the first thing that. And I, <laughs> From Russia? Because it's kind of between us and Russia, right? Uh, you know, it is where it is, man. <laughs> 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 but if you look at it right here, here's Russia. Yeah. Here's the United States. Yeah. It's kind of between Canada and Russia here. Yeah. At the uh, Arctic. Yeah, yeah. Pole. And uh, it's... Uh, it's all yeah, daylight it's there like, right now. There's a, there's a thing. So uh, my joke to him, I was like, you're like putting a green and I'm like, what losers they got up here? And you're like, that's oh, the most important people. <laughs> you're like, oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> and that was fun. 
So yeah, so they have a naming committee in Iceland. They have basically three rules. The name cannot cause harm uh, or any trouble or harm to the child. An example is if you want to name your kid Satan, you can't do it. Mm-hmm. That's a good call. But that's I feel like what if your name rhymes with something you know that you can get bullied with? You should include that as well. I mean, if it's going to cause harm to the kid, where do you draw the line? I think Satan's a good place. Yeah, that's well, a good yeah. Line. I'm not saying I object that's to a good that line yeah. wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Uh, second rule is boys must be named boy names and girls must be named girl names. You, you got to be able to tell the gender by its name. If, a, if they want to name their daughter Alex, she can't do it. Or Where Taylor, in Iceland? In Iceland or yeah. Jesse or any yeah. of those. Wow. I, I guess so. And then the third one I already mentioned: the name must follow Icelandic grammar rules and alliteration. Uh, so if you want to name your daughter Camilla, you'd have to do it with a K because there is no C in there. This is making a I lot like of that. sense. You're on yeah. board with it, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Like, let's keep it clear. Yeah. Clear with a K. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you have six months to name your child there. After that, you're fine for not registering a name. Because mm. this is a big process. you got to go through this naming committee and they have to approve it. No. Mm. Uh, in Norway and Denmark, you're required to pick from an approved list of names. Fired, failure to get prior approval for unlisted name results in fines, and uh, the, the child's name will be forcibly changed later. This is the kind of fun stuff you can do when there's 500 people in your country. You know what I mean? When you don't have a real country, you can do fun stuff like oh, this. Yikes. Wow. Really trying to wow. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying to spice it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm trying to get some conversation rolling. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying you can't implement something like this in the United It'd be States. Tough here, How many yeah. people live in Iceland? Oh man. 30, 40? Less than a million. <laughs> it would be tough to do, that's for sure. In America, to be like, I mean, we got a lot of names here. We got some wild names. Iceland population is 370,000. I mean, it's less than Nashville. So, yeah, you can, you can have a fun naming committee. You yeah. can do stuff like that. Yeah, that's I'm good. not saying it's wrong. No, it's I'm good. Saying you can't scale I this. like that they're doing it. Yeah. You can't scale like, Especially, this. I like if you're that small of a place that you're keeping that kind of like uh, identity of your yeah, own. Yeah, you need to. Going. I like that. Oh, you'll, get, you'll get swept up and forgotten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. France, the same thing. France, it's got to be a boy's name, girl's name. It's got to be clear. A woman try to name her daughter Liam, and the Liam. Letter. Mm-hmm. Oh, daughter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, in Portugal, you can't name your child Tomas or anything like that. It's got to be because you can't shorten it. Or you can name your child Tomas, but you can't call him Tom. You've got to go oh, by the name. Okay. Mm. So you'd have to be Nathaniel. Mm. They've banned shortening versions of names. As but you could name. still call him to- Tom. Yeah, I guess you just can't. But like we were talking about Hank and Henry. Yeah. You have to name your kid Henry and yeah. not Hank. Oh, yeah. Even though it's not that much shorter. Yeah. Not really the same name either. No, it's it one of those, one of those of weird sense. ones. Yeah. Yeah. Bob and Robert, that always got to me. Yeah. Where's the B come from? Right. From Robert. Yeah, but the Robert starts with an R, dude. Which but there's a B in there. Me on this. There, is there is another B, but there's two Bs in, in yeah. Bob. They had no to go Bob. Get it. Yeah, they had to get it from somewhere else. <laughs> they borrowed it. Yeah, like Bob is Bob is short for Bobby. Bob is short for Robert. But it shouldn't be, though. That's what I'm saying. It's short for Bob. Oh, okay. Bird is short for Robert. Yeah. Bert. Bert or Albert. Or Rob. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wonder if that got confused. Bert Kreischer's name is Albert. Yeah, oh, yeah. I read somewhere. Uh, that's that- a different person, though, man. A Robert and an Albert are... Yeah, there's two, two different, different people. people. Albert uh-huh. Kreischer and wears a Bert, shirt. A Bert's yeah. different yeah. from all of them. Yeah. 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 Well, I know, but like... He wears two shirts. Yeah, yeah. 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 Layers, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 Ripley's Believe It or Not said the first uh, last name ever was Katz, like Louis Katz. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. K-A-T-Z? Uh, yeah. I guess that's a rabbi oh. name or something like that in, in Jewish custom. So they say that was the first surname ever. Um... In the United States, you don't have to name your child right away. You got to have it on the birth certificate. But if you don't know when you're leaving the hospital, they'll just write baby boy or baby girl. And it says a lot of hospitals will threaten you by saying you've got to have this before you can leave the hospital, but that's not true. And some parents wait a while to even name their child. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Olympic skier Peekaboo Street. <laughs> no. no one? 
They took some time on that one, huh? <laughs> <They> took, <laughs> that seems like they had a gun to their head. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I remember I, she was an Olympic skier back in what eighty uh, ninety eight Olympics. Yeah, and um, she was originally named Baby Girl, and then about when she was six months old, they you would, she liked to play peekaboo. That's obvious, but they also went to a Mexico vacation, and the place was called Peekaboo, so they named her Peekaboo Street. All right, yeah. peekaboo. All right. Good thing they took time with that one. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that that's like almost uh, your the the lesson is don't you don't actually don't take too much. Time. Don't overthink <laughs> yeah. it. Like, yeah. Don't overthink it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know, it's a different name. Many Spanish speaking countries have two last names. And I bet if you name that peekaboo, like look at where she ended up. I wonder if that stuff like does make you're just different. You're just because your name's different, so you got to come at everything with like a little more. It's like my name's Peekaboo. Oh, is it? Like you're just gonna. It's like boy named Sue. It's yeah. the whole premise yeah. of that song. Oh, really? Yeah, you know that song, the Johnny Cash song. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it, where I don't he, know the words. He's are. named Sue, and he's a boy. And yeah. He's mad his whole life, and then at the end, he finally he's trying to find his father who named him this to get yeah. back at him. And then he meets his father, and his father says, I gave you this name so that you would grow up to be tough because you'd have to fight yeah. and defend yourself all the I was, time. Because yeah. I'm going to abandon you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll be gone. So he's like, thanks. Well, at the end, he said, if I ever have a boy, I'm going to name him Frank Bill or George. George anything, anything but, but Sue. Sue. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Spanish countries often have two surnames, your father's last name and then your mother's last name. And then when you get married, uh, you keep your, uh, if it's a woman, you keep your uh, father's surname and then your husband's last name, like Angela Johnson Reyes. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's why we're here, Aaron, for you to learn I'm something. I'm learning a lot, man. Yeah. I didn't know this. In Greece, um, if a man, like Giannis, does he have two daughters? Yeah. So depending on if it's a male or female, different last names. So it'd be Papas, would be his child's name if it was a boy. But if it was a girl, it would be <laughs> Papa Lou. Mm. Where's the Lou come from? Just, I don't know. You know how like Spanish, L or La, depending on yeah, masculine yeah. or feminine. Oh, well, okay. they have kind of similar, they change the ending of the name based oh, on okay. masculine or feminine. Oh, interesting. Mm. All right. Yeah, I'm starting to check out a little bit. So <laughs> I, I just think the audience might be. <laughs> okay. We're doing, I mean, we're not, it's not your fault. Thank you. That last one, I was like, kind of. I thought you might be interested because you have a friend whose daughter. Might I be. did. I think I've just hit a time limit where my, I'm zoned out. All right. No, but I'm I'll back in it now. All right. So yeah. the most common last name in the world, anybody know? Uh, Simpson. Simpson. Mohammed. Ben Bazir. Oh, I want to say it's Muhammad. Uh, Muhammad's most common first name. Last oh. name. Patel. Ali. Is it Patel? Let's go no. Patel. It's, good. it's a good guess. Uh, so it must be a Chinese name. Ooh. Park? Ooh. Lee. No. Like L-I? That's good. Yeah. Good guess. Uh, Wang. Wow. Oh, I think all of y'all just got canceled. Where's Patel? <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. way, I was the way y'all all were that. going at everything, yeah. it was none of that was good. And Where's then the, Patel the, the real answer was not good coming out of that <laughs> accent. Coming out of 11 at y'all. No, it's Wang. Isn't There's a stupid? lot of Wangs out there, boys. <laughs> yeah. I better not zone out because next week I'll be alone. <laughs> <laughs> I guess when the uh, Chinese dynasty fell, I say I guess, like I just, this is what I said. Yeah. I read this. In uh, 206 BC, mm -hmm. many families adopted the last name Wang to hide their true identities to avoid being assassinated by the rulers of China. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's why there's. You don't have a oh, uh, Patel must rank very high. Patel's got to be up there. I'm sure it's up there, but yeah, I don't, I don't have it. Uh, Devonchi Patel, the most common. She's a comic we started together. She's a writer now. Oh, okay. The most common first name in the world is Maria. Mm. Uh, I believe oh, okay. that Mary Maria. Mm -hmm. Most common first name in America, James. Yes. Uh, oh, really? Is it yeah. James? Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. oh, Jim. Wow. I think John. John Close. was third. Uh, second, Bill. William. William. Robert. Robert. Oh. oh snuck in there. Robertson County. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. Good uh, Good job. Davidson. He's back, baby. Davidson. He's back, <laughs> baby. Let's <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. um, do another hour. So yeah. there's two Major League Baseball teams that allow names on the back of their jerseys. 
as of 2023. I think this changes some. There's only two um, that don't allow, or do no, allow? no, no. I'm sorry. Maybe not allow that that do not allow. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Red Sox and the Yankees. Correct. Yeah. There's three college football teams. Notre Dame's one of them. Uh, the Navy. I don't think so. Okay. I can't think of the other. I think it changes some. Penn State and USC. Mm. Oh, I can see that. But okay. Notre Dame allows for the bowl games. The games. They put the names on. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that's who you guys root for. For Nate and I, we have our own problems. During Derek Mason's very first football game as coach at Vanderbilt, they played Temple on ESPN, and they put the name Acre down on the back of their jersey. <laughs> it didn't get NCAA approval. So they got penalized one time out per quarter because it was a a jersey that wasn't official. Do you and remember then this? We got, and then we got that, beat we thirty got, seven to seven. Yeah, we got mm. trounced. <laughs> it was not a well. Temple was good that year, right? Weren't they? No. Yeah, uh, I mean, we should be. Slack. Temple was better yeah. than they. It was Al Golden they were, years. but it just yeah. started it off was, yeah. like it just was not a good start, and then it was like Mason had trouble. Obviously, from that get go, I mean, we just get blown. But we're like, all right, we're gonna start with a win. We love it, and then just and like not even barely lose, just get. It wasn't a game. Yeah, I might have been at that game. I don't. I remember watching it. I was at it. Yeah, yeah. I think you were still in New York at the time, yeah. right? Yeah, maybe. Because um, there was a long weather delay. Yeah, for it was a yeah. terrible, terrible start. But in fairness to Vanderbilt, they did provide an email. That showed the NCAA approved it, so I think they got their timeouts back okay. after the game. Yeah, <laughs> after the game was oh, over. that's yeah. helpful. Yeah. yeah, they go the next game. They go, y'all can use whatever timeouts you want. Yeah, all right. we get two extra timeouts. They go, yeah, yeah. Uh, the most famous name on an XFL jersey? He hate me. He hate me. Yeah, I went to college. She hate with, me. I went to Western Kentucky with him. He hate me. I thought it was she hate me. No, no, it's he hate me. Okay. He hate me. Okay. He. Uh, who, who hates have him? I talked about him before? Who hates you? Him? Have. Yeah. Um, yeah. He, he meets the team he's playing. Their opponents are going to hate him because he's going to dominate. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Play at Western Kentucky when I by semester I was there. He went by that then. No, he went by his real name. Okay. But he was a big real star name, football. She player. hate me. That's where he got that. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good. Everybody still knows it. I mean, it's as it's probably it goes XFL and then he hate me. Are literally probably the two uh -huh. things. I mean, the rock now. Yeah. But it's like, that's how. It was like the first game. It was televised. Everybody yeah. was curious to see what would happen. And he's out there. And then after that, ratings dropped. And it, you know, it was mm -hmm. gone soon. But. And then I'll end on, there was a Harvard study about names and do they matter. And depending on your profession, depending on your name, supposedly your profession will change. If you have certain common names, you'll be more likely to be a doctor or if it's an unusual name, you'll be more likely to be a garbage man. And if we share the initial with the name of a hurricane, we'll be more likely to donate to the relief fund. It's called implicit egotism effect. We're generally drawn to the things that people that most resemble us because we have value our own names and initials. We prefer things that have something in common with us. I really dodged the bullet, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dusty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But my initials are DRS. Uh, it seems very doctor oriented. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. No one's going to let a doctor, cut, a Dusty, cut them up. That's true. Them. That is true. You would. I would have to be Doctor uh, Dusty. Dustin. You have Dustin. to be Dustin. And Doctor Slay doesn't sound too good either. No, it's not good. No. no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's my guy? Dusty Slay. Doctor like, Slay. A butcher, like, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, well, I'd like him to bring his. Uh, License in, yeah, yeah, know, yeah, like yeah, his doctor license. Yeah, his doctor got you would have to show all your credentials. Stuff. I'd have to roll around with the credentials, yeah, oh. just have them here. They Here's are. my medical degree. Yeah. You'd spend most of your life proving who you are, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, that's it. Uh, <clears throat> I, I don't know, I think we're here next week, so I'll be here next week. I'm kind of off right now. Australia coming out there. So go check that out. And then all of September, uh, all, going to Alaska State Fair, pumped about that. Nice. And then uh, a bunch of uh, other dates September. I'm off this weekend, but this coming Tuesday, I'm throwing out the first pitch of the Nashville Sounds game. This is it. All right. All right. I've been training 16, 18 hours a day. Yeah. Wow. So Look at those arms. I'm going to be there. I've yet, actually, I've yet to throw a baseball in, in years, but – I'm going to try this week. You better get right. on it. Don't mess this up. All right. Yeah. All right. I, I told you, I got a – oh, do you have a glove? 
Yeah. Do you have your glove with you? Mm-hmm. Okay. I got a ball and a glove in the car. All right. We'll go, go throw after this. All right. Yeah. Warm up a little bit. All right. Bristol, Tennessee, the birthplace of country music. I will be at the Blue Ridge Comedy Club July 7th and 8th. Come on out. All right. I'm still off, uh, you know. Tending could be to, working, though. Tending to the baby. but uh, could, could be working. <laughs> starting July 14th and 15th, I'll be at the Albany Funny Bone, and then I'm back. I mean, every week after that, it is go time. Mm-hmm. So Yeah, you could work right now if you want I could to. work right now. Right now. Right now. It's not like you're you're choosing not to work. They're right. not yeah. choosing As a matter of fact, these. I had to cancel a gig. I, oh, I, yeah. I kept one on the calendar for, for Oregon. I was going to go do a, a festival out there, and then the baby came, and it was just like, it was too much, so I had to cancel it. But just so. to let people know, also let the baby know, you're dead work. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm a worker, and yeah. the second half of the year is going to be hot. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It is going to be hot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get yeah. ready. All right. All right. Uh, have a great... Uh, it's not Fourth, Fourth of, July. of July. It yeah. will be though. It will be. Uh, are we gonna be here? Or? Next week we're doing a best of. All right, we're doing a best of next week. So uh, a lot of uh, we got a lot of new fans lately, and they always ask, "What's a good episode to watch?" You know, to kind of get a feel. And this is gonna be the best of the first three years of Nate Land. So uh, yeah. this is a good one to watch, just to learn about all the inside jokes and fun moments. Love it. All right. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Enjoy that. Happy 4th of July. Merry 4th of July. Uh, uh, As always, we love you. See you next time. Bye. Nate Land is produced by Nate Land Productions and by me, Nate Bargetzi, and my wife, Laura, on the Audio Boom platform. Recording and editing for the show is done by Genovations Media. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to catch us next week on the Nate Land Podcast.